cookie cutters, God gave you a nose to breathe with so you can keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. Take a seat. Start again? No. <laughs> the Cody's. Who's Cody? It's 10 minutes away. The one that wants to defecate on. Oh, okay. So you guys are pumping out content. It's good. We're pumping out the reps, too. Yeah. Yeah, they've seen nothing yet. I mean, I put out four videos today because those are nothing compared to the other stuff that I already got in the queue. So Good. Yeah. We want Brad versus Big J. I'm sorry, Brad. I'm just kept being overwhelmed. When are we going to see that to at least put a stop to it? It will never stop. It doesn't matter what happens. Unless I kill him, which I'm not going to prison for the rest of my life, which he wants me to kill him. That's what he wants. So then I, my life is ruined and he's dead because he doesn't care about living. You can tell. Look at him. <laughs> Jay's I mean, likely to ride. He doesn't give ride. a shit if he dies. It is true. Yeah. He, he'd probably admit that too. I mean, Jay's going to ram his 18 wheeler through Prince of States. Think, think, about, <laughs> think, about, think about the life, you know? Like, he's obviously fucking severely depressed and miserable. Misery loves company. And he's mad I'm not his company anymore. Just for the last time, just say, do the cry sound again. <laughs> <laughs> and fuck him. This is what he wants, though. He wants the back and forth, and you're giving it to him, which is stupid. Well, if we could find out where he's parking. It's all, he's we just, have he, bumper stickers. We're going to put out back of his truck that says baby on board. If they find out, if they find out where he's parked, they're, he's going to end up getting fucking arrested baby for DUI. Yeah. You know? He's parked. <laughs> Hey, Andrew, how was the lunch with Jason on Monday? It was good. It's the worst he's ever looked. Really? I've never seen him look that bad. Is it fat or skinny or unhealthy? Just, just fat, no muscle, just like mush. Well, he's not taking any. No, not even nothing. A maniac said not they saw him at work and they said he looks very depressed. He was upbeat when he was with me. But Who bought lunch? Me. Yeah. Yeah, it was his birthday. Yeah. Sorry I couldn't make it, Jason. I couldn't get out of bed. Likewise. <laughs> We're so bad. Were you even. invited? Yeah, I think so. We'll get. <laughs> yeah, I, told, I told Rob about it. Yeah, he just looks like a just a marshmallow. Well, he should just, right now. Well, it, it'll never happen. So no point in saying. But while his test is low, now would be the time for him to go and get it prescribed. The maniacs he are here in this pudding body. Don't say that to. See, Lenny didn't hear you say that. Pudding body, what? marshmallow <laughs> genoi. <laughs> well, I keep forgetting you got the live going too. My lord is bulking. It's kind of a distraction. It kind so, of is. So. You guys think Tiger Woods will ever play golf again? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Has they found anything where his lie that proves his liability or anything? He's cleared of any charges. They didn't any do wrong. They didn't do it. any deaths. No, good. It was it, he was by himself. Interesting how you get the top, you know what, golfer and the top female tennis player getting into bad accidents recently. Isn't that very tough? Which tennis player did that happen to? Venus. That was years ago she got in that accident. Three years. Yeah. Did she Did she kill somebody? I think so. That's horrible. T-bone right there. Right by, by me. <laughs> Thank you, Planet Swole. <laughs> Jay misses being in a convalescent home because his baby diaper fetish was fulfilled. Oh, Put him back God. there, Brad. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> 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 I need my diaper change. <laughs> well, the, uh, the Cuban's right there to change it for you, so. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the banana boat boy <laughs> came in. He came in at eight years old on the Mario <laughs> boat lift when they opened up the insane asylums, jails, and the homosexual quarantine units, which they have down there. Pre AIDS. If you have AIDS, you're going to a special quarantine unit. That's how they deal with it. And they controlled it. But pre AIDS, they had that too. They removed them from society. That's why right, he's in quarantine still, even though he's in Florida. <laughs> he's under a homosexual quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to go over there? He's under a reptile sexual quarantine. Yeah. He agreed to that? We're going to be yeah, the first did. to come over. I'm uh -huh. surprised because he just got diagnosed with cancer. Any more paranoid now? The most treatable form. We'll help him laugh. What does he have? Thyroid. What do they do for the, Do they remove the thyroid? Not sure. Hmm. But it is the most treatable. Hmm. We're going to go over there wearing a certain getup? Yes. We'll be the first to come to the... You have a hazmat suit that'll fit you? A uh, little hint. Little hint. Little hint. Oh, okay. It's a secret. That leather out. Fit. If it could fit you. And I have a feeling those shirts you have for Rob, I have a feeling I know what they are. I didn't bring those. That's all right. I'll tell you after. I know what they are. Gym shucks. No. Oh, interesting. Don't tell any of them. Don't tell. I haven't gotten shit. I got... You're going to get some. I have a package for you that was sent there. I think it's a shirt in there. Well, I'm in Del Rey all day tomorrow. Are you working tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I'm in Del Rey all day, and I have a break between four Where are you at, Rob? You want to let the maniacs know? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> what about they give some gifts? Of the finest, purest. 
<laughs> variety. What well, about the Fenobut that you got sent that one time? Wasn't that very good? Yeah. Do you remember who sent that? No, it was lift mode. That's right. I haven't done Fenobut since almost a year ago. Are you trying not to ever do that again? or No, I want to do it occasionally. This is like Kratom. That's a once a week. Or Fenobuts you, you and you every can... other day at most. Just to, just to do, definitely brings out the best in you. Yeah, you had some of your best fucking yeah. rants on that shit. Yeah. Fenobut, really? <laughs> But do you think if you had that much that you'd be able to control yourself? To- no, 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 it's not a problem. Okay. I mean, it's not like... Uh, it's not like G. <laughs> if it's there, you're G drinking is, it. G in 1.4 is fine. He's the right dosage. He's not out of control with that either. Yeah, I was out of control with it when I first got introduced. But the, the Fenobut is just... it's the, the come down to that is just too powerful. Too shitty. Too yeah. horrible. It's been 40 years since tried. Jay learned, learned, needs to learn how to wipe his ass. Get off the potty. This is scary. His mom is just so sick of it, she doesn't want to wipe him anymore. I didn't know about that, but it wouldn't surprise me. Oh, my God. Call Big Gay. We will. Jay needs a propeller hat and and a diaper. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. (laughs) They're going to have no reason to listen to the podcast tomorrow if we have it all on here, you know? That is true. So, maniacs. Thank you, Ince David. Give that cookie cutter bard a wedgie. Get what's deserved. <laughs> all right, let me do it on film. Can I give you a wedgie? No. No, because you're going to blow your nuts all over the place. <laughs> yeah, that's just what I want you to give me a wedgie. <laughs> what the fuck? How much did he donate? Nothing. Oh, well, then fuck him. Well, if he donated, he'd do it. Depends then. how much Look he at donated. Freudian slip. If he gives you a couple hundred bucks, I'll let you do it. Interesting. <laughs> but you got to give me a reach around while you do it. I want you to play with my cock and balls, Leonard. Oh, Brad. Oh. <laughs> There's a certain Humpty Dumpty for that. Leather yeah. fag. I, Oops. I'm going to keep making Jay jealous if I talk like that. <laughs> Lenny sucking Brad. Cock. <laughs> <laughs> But he said, what is he saying? But see, you know what? He he won't go after you like he does me because he you're you're the you know. Okay. All right, thank you, COVID nineteen. One last question. We'll do that next time. We're gonna concentrate on the podcast and enjoy it tomorrow night, maniacs. And you all got your fame, so we're all happy. Let me make sure that's off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry about the distraction. If you want to do it again when we Why drive he, home. I just, I all I did was. cameos. I got two I need to do on the phone. All I did was hit your you, home you screen. It says 32 horny MILFs me. online in Pompano. Huh? <laughs> 32 horny MILFs online in Pompano on your phone. Well, well that's so. you where you live, Bob. <laughs> that's that where you were Googling before you I went on know, just, One of those things just pops up. Yeah, it just pops up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I wish I did. I would do it. I could probably get a well. These all these smartphones are programmed to send you advertising that they think you. Yeah, I need to get an upgrade. This you know, is the algorithm crap. shit. Well, obviously they're not doing a good job, or else it would say thirty-two well, horny trans near you. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, with, with the iPhone, like when you talk about it's something, freaky. the next thing yeah, you know, you get yeah. emails about yeah. shit. A certain subject in the news that really ticked me off is Governor DeSantis. As you can see, was a great Yale baseball player, which I found out today. They showed it on Instagram for Raging Patriots or something. Them. And he paid his way to college, never took a loan, and played baseball, and worked, and studied. And he's probably a few years younger than you, Prince. He made an order for everyone in Florida government buildings to lower the flag to half mast in honor of the death of Rush Limbaugh. And some are refusing to do it. Now, I listened to Rush. It was the first time I ever listened to conservative. It was in 1990. He always preached, doing your best, being your best. And the greatness of America. And they say things like, well, he called Chelsea Clinton a dog. No, he said she looked like a French poodle. And they all got on, well, he called her a dog. Well, which well, he yeah, well that, a French poodle Big is deal. a dog. Now, I want to know is... When the great uh, settlement uh, rapist uh, did really ticks me off, that certain one that died in a helicopter crash, everybody without question lowered the flag to half mast in honor of his death, which is okay. Did they really? I didn't know. Yes, the whole Los Angeles County and most of California. But that is a guy that paid off a 19 year old that he pretty much did severe sexual assault on. Arguably, I'm not a believer in that, but that's the truth. He paid her off. His lawyer paid her off. He had lawyers to intimidate hers. And nobody questioned that. And these disgusting government officials, probably all Democrats, refused to lower it because of Rush. That makes me sick. Back to the You mean what? Well, you think they're (laughs) going to lower it to half staff when Howard Stern dies? He's a fucking radio personality. I mean. He's not Kobe Bryant. He's not a sexual predator. 
he what that guy did, if he wasn't rich, he'd be in jail. Oh, well, Kobe wasn't convicted. Getting a train run on him. Yeah, because he had money. I'm, su- I'm surprised you, you... But they didn't question lowering I'm, I'm the flag to him. I'm surprised you're taking that stance, because uh, especially how you feel about it. I am, too. It's the way I feel about it. But to have these government officials refuse a direct order from the governor... I know. It's ridiculous. Rush wasn't racist. He wasn't prejudiced at all. He inspired me. When I listened to his show, I wanted to do good. I wanted to get out of the gutter. I wanted to work hard. I liked that. The American dream. Look at him. He used to do a small radio station in Pittsburgh when I was a kid. He called himself Chris Christie. He used to play like oldies rock and roll. Then he got a job with the Kansas City Royals making basically nothing, where he had to max out his credit card just to buy food. Then he got on the radio and he got bigger and bigger, just like we intend to do, with sponsorships and stuff, making that kind of money. And he dies of a bad type of cancer, throat cancer. Now, for those government officials to question that a direct order from the governor while everyone in los angeles county put that fat flag that they probably didn't even need an order from the governor they all did it they all did that yes yes especially oh you're talking about what about rush they refused many local governments said they're not doing it the governor DeSantis ordered them to well some some of the small businesses should have refused to close too when the governor's ordered that shit he didn't order that no i know i'm just saying but it's just democrats at their worst and they talk about all these rights for women and such. And you have him. It's not even a de- and I'm there's sure not he even a de- the line. There's not even a Democratic Party anymore. They're extreme leftists. Fucking psychopaths. Well, this podcast took a real serious turn. <laughs> and when a, the queen, Aretha Franklin, died, Michigan, everybody lowered their flags to half mass without question. And she was nothing but a dope smoking junk food addict. And she treated her staff like garbage. That's a fact. Hmm. The queen of soul... Lower the flags. That's what this nation comes down to. The degenerates getting a lowered flag. Back to Kobe Bryant real quick. When that happened, you know, everyone was in such a frenzy. Yeah, I remember that. And we were working at a club that has to remain nameless tonight. Uh, someone came up to me. Could, I was I was in one of my typical moves there. Someone came up to me. They're like, man, that Kobe Bryant stuff, that's real sad, right? I said, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> she was not. She was looked at him like, how dare you say that? Why are you? I mean, you didn't know the guy. Huh? Well, no, he's one of the regulars. He would come in every. Oh, Kobe? Yeah. No, I didn't know him. But I mean, still. The- he forcibly took a 19-year-old housekeeper. And thought that is that was that, that was the story. Way. I thought it was just a groupie at a hotel that he yeah, fought. me too. Yeah, it's the housekeeper on staff at the 19. hotel. He paid hush money because he had it. He had lawyers. Sometimes your girl brings a lawyer in, whatever, t- paying a lot of money she can't afford, and he'll come in with three or four high price lawyers. And you don't think you don't think chicks are out there looking for that? Absolutely. All those whores. That, in his case, there's a lot of no. there's a lot of those hookers that in know exactly case, where these NBA no. players are staying, the hotels are staying at. They wait in the fucking lobby. Of course. But he knows better. He knows better. He thinks someone on staff. I think he bought his wife a four million dollar ring too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But that makes me sick. And shame on these. What does it say about her? Any politicians in this state that refuse to lower the flag for Rush. Rush Limbaugh does a hell of a lot more than people realize. If he wasn't for Rush, people wouldn't have any type of conservative values. He started it all and it'll never be the same without him. <laughs> yeah. You don't have an opinion, Brad, because I didn't listen. To you're him. a you're a big supporter of. I didn't listen yeah, to him. You're that too much. busy listening to Punk I Rogan. Didn't li- I didn't listen to him that much. I don't even listen to Rogan anymore since he went to Spotify. That app sucks. So you're more. You don't care who it is. You're into no, that. Rogan stinks too. Like you said, his guests are what make his show. If he did a podcast by himself, it would stink. He repeats himself constantly. It's fuck. He's yeah, fucking he's annoying. Yeah, of course. Lenny, you, you got to start. You can tell he's an arrogant prick. He just plays like he's a nice guy. You know he's a fucking asshole. I'm sure he's a complete asshole. Start listening to Ben Shapiro. I do. Yeah, he hired uh, Gina Carano for his. Uh, Good. Because yeah. he has like a movie network or something. What's it called? Daily Daily Wire. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he rips people to shreds. In a good way. He's got that nerdy voice like Tim Pool, but they're they're informative for sure. It's great when you YouTube videos of him going against you know these libtard college geeks when they challenge him on a number of topics, and he just he absolutely shreds he them. Refuse to get a bodyguard. It's great. Hmm. Why would he need a bodyguard? He says controversial things. You espouse those views at a campus, they're going to come after you. Think so. Those liberal douchebags are pussies. Really? They burn down a city to get enough of them like a bunch of fire ends. So I've, Could you imagine if, if Trump won? If 
you if he won in a landslide, what what would have happened? What do you think would have happened? That capital would have been fucking burned. He would have taken the steps to call out the whole fucking Washington D.C. He would have, would have tucked in the National Guard, just like when all those tough gang members did during the Los Angeles riots. As soon as they flipped the switch, they let, they let him riot, and then they said, "No, that's enough." They all ran back in their homes. And I had punk Puerto Ricans that I work with telling me that once those gangs get involved, they're going to control that city. And I laughed. I was like, "Yeah, right." Was it Big Swole that told us he was dispatched there when he was in the army, right? Or was he in the Marines? Marines, yeah, yeah. He said, "As soon as they called them in, that was it." Huh. How you feeling? Legs better? I feel like a like a god on earth. <laughs> like Rush used to say, he says, "Talent on loan from God, the excellence of execution." Rush Limbaugh. No, that wasn't that. He didn't say that. The excellence in broadcasting network when he was stationed in Manhattan. And then he moved down here and he just started doing everything from Palm Beach. But we lost a great man. One of my, definitely the first for me. that got me to realize what actually was going on. He cut through the scams. When they used to say old people were resorting because of the Republicans to eating dog food. It's like, give me a break. He says, actually, it's pretty good. You should try it. He goes, I opened up a can the other day at Kibbles and Bits. <laughs> <laughs> you ever tried dog food? No, but... Your shins became dog food last yeah, week. Yeah. And they're, believe me, they might be affected. They're burning like crazy. But I've been treating them, washing them every day with Anacep, which is a hospital-grade disinfectant, top of the line. Scrubbing it down and putting on an ointment and then putting on a Cosmopore pad, which sticks to the cream so it doesn't go anywhere. So my main thing is bumping that exposed wound, yeah. and which I did at uh, Redcon 1, but... If it gets infected, I just didn't know who I can sue now. <laughs> Back to the dog food. Remember um, w one day before work, you were going to come get me and then you took a detour? Didn't you? Didn't she make you eat dog food that night? Yes, that's right. Who made him eat dog oh, food? Oh, her. Juicy. No, not Juicy. The one you did the horsey ride with. Didn't you do the horsey no, ride and eat the dog food? The doggy ride, too. Candy. Oh, I did the doggy ride, but Candy What's the wanted difference to... between the doggy and the horsey? Well... Do you have to bark? Brad Ooh, asking yeah. the tough question. When he does, it, when he does the doggy ride, ride like he's got to bark. When he does the horse, you see, ride, ride like a horse. <laughs> I was, it was so ooey and gooey on my back. I thought it was sweat. She said she was ooey coming like crazy. And gooey. Right on my back. <laughs> she said she loved all that muscle. Maybe she had a little yeast infection splattered all over your back. Uh. <laughs> you told me first, you said you walked in, she had a vicious pit bull, but you were so goosed up. That was the goddess on, on Broward. You were so goosed and up. And I came to work after. That. Right. And then you said uh, she put the dog collar on you, was riding on your back, yelling at you to eat dog food and crawl around. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, I remember that. Fun. She's got a picture of it. She won't divulge. It was fun, so Lenny. Calls Care fun. to elaborate? <laughs> Better than going to a... Well, yeah, I mean, took a little 1.4. You got some Just leftover, to, you know You what? like doing anything that'll take you out of your comfort zone, right? Yeah, I'm in a real Why do you have to look at Rob for a shirt? <laughs> it's like he's got to consult with Rob now. What should I say, like Robbie? I like Robbie, it. Robbie, what I should I say? say? I'm used to what doing that at the club. <laughs> We'd have some of the people at a certain club that were made nameless would come up and say something to us. And then when he'd say something was a little off, I'd look at Rob. He'd look at me like this. And I'd go, oh, my God. But he didn't get that look from you, so don't worry. But, um, yeah, like when so-and-so and the other so-and-so bozo clowns who will remain nameless would come up to you while you're trying to eat and tell you, yeah, I jerked off three times. The test yeah, is really working. Yeah, proud of it. Grown men saying how many they jerked off before, how many loads they blew before the shift. Give an example of the type of things they would tell you. Oh, I was looking at something on Bang Brothers. It was a tranny, a girl, and a gay guy. Because, man, I never nutted like that before. And then he kept uh. saying, the gay stuff is blowing everything away, straight out, man to man. And I'm thinking, oh, my God. And then how about when that guy came, was walking through and um, he stopped and said, oh, I know him. He's a gay porn star. Well, how do you know? Yeah. Some guy with tattoos on his arms. Walking around like a tough guy. He says, I know him from gay porn. And sure enough, it was him walking around with a girl. And you said, how would you know yeah. that? <laughs> what are you doing? If you're in gay porn, <laughs> guess what? You're taking size up the ass, whether you like it or not. And you're swallowing loads. Yeah, guaranteed. Chuck Basher, right? You don't go into gay porn and say, well, I'm not doing this. I'll do this. I will do this. Goodbye. 
We want someone that does what we tell you. By the way, I'm still waiting for those hollow points he said he had for us. Remember that? <laughs> I got some hollow points for you. <laughs> <laughs> this little Remember box. that? No, he might pull out his Where are the box hollow points, on Chuck? You. Well, I want to meet him one day. He pulls that stuff. I'm going to crack him. I'm going to grab him. I'm going to wrestle him. I'm going to throw him down with my body. I'm going to embarrass him. I'm going to say, speak English, boy. <laughs> Well, so, if he stabbed you in the gut, like he said, you might save money on surgery. Stuff true. Yeah. Just, Is that what he said he was going to do? He's right. going to hit it one of those layers of muscles. I'll bend. I'll break his knife if he tries that. I'm going to break his cheekbones. So can I ask you guys a question? It's like pretty much almost a halfway point of the NBA season now. And I know they did this in the NFL toward the end of the season. How come any time they play the national anthem before the game, all the players stand there with their arms interlocked? You see, you ever see them? What does that mean? What is that about? Sign of solidarity. Is that what it is? I guess because the NBA... Solidarity for what? So made a mandate that everybody's nobody's going to kneel. and So they do that instead of kneeling? Is that yes. it? They interlock yep. arms like they're going to the prom together? Yep. Hmm. Their way of... Because I'm a Knicks fan, and I watch all the Knicks games, and before every game, they play the national anthem, they're all standing there with their arms interlocked. I'm trying yep. to figure out what that's about. Solidarity. I haven't watched any of that. What have you been watching, Brad? Nothing. I actually watched that documentary, The Night Stalker, about Richard Ramirez. Don't you want to rip his eyes out? You know, that they shouldn't have called it The Night Stalker. It should have been the how, we, how we caught a Night Stalker. It really, they didn't really show much of his background. They left a... I don't know. I think he kind of dropped the well, ball. Well, he was that. into a lot of cocaine. He was into a lot of heavy metal rock. But what really gets me is... Well, his, his upbringing was fucked. Well, it's not... If you go excuse. do more research, it didn't show He's any of that in that fucking coward. documentary. It's mainly... The you cops. got families, you got kids, grandparents in California where the windows are open, <laughs> crawling through windows high on coke, raping kids, grandmothers, sexually torturing them, tying them up. And then when one's tied up and watching, cutting their kid's throat, ripping it right, cutting it right open. Did you watch the, the documentary? Yes. And then him... In court, and all those groupies sitting in the courtroom, when he comes out and he's looking around with that disgusting hair, they're like, oh, my God, he looked at me. Oh, I love him. Isn't he gorgeous? Yeah, they send him all nude pictures and shit. And they, in California, he knew damn watch well. The, watch the Netflix He knew right. damn well that was going to happen to him. It wasn't like Texas, where they would have fried his ass in a month for what that scumbag did. But the funniest thing, and I'll never forget, my father, because I used to deliver papers in the morning in Oakmont. And on the front page of the Pittsburgh Post Gazette, they caught the Night Stalker. It was in the mid 80s. And he says, Look, when he woke me up at five, he says, They caught that scumbag. He's walking through a neighborhood and everybody started chasing him and beating the hell out of them. If the cops didn't come, they would have ripped him in part. Rightfully so. And they had to bandage his little baby ass up, sit back in the cop car, and then he gets, goes and gets lawyered up. And they actually allow him to marry. How'd you like to be somebody whose daughter or wife he's. Just imagine her, him coming into Bradford Manor, slitting so-and-so's throat, and then knowing this guy's getting fan mail, and them allowing him to marry that piece of human filth. No relation to Mark Ramirez, which is one of our top maniacs, by the way, Richard Ramirez. And then the time he's walking out of the courtroom, hail Satan. Ugh, Stupid. human filth. That's California for you. Yeah, he died in prison of cancer. It's like fucking 53. Before they spent tons of money on the finest Sloan Kettering treatment, cancer treatment, where they brought all the equipment and positions to him to keep his sorry ass alive. Fucking crazy. So the weather's been nice out lately. <laughs> <laughs> nice enough to have a night stalker come in your bedroom and slit your throat. That's not, people say, is he born like that? Is it suffering? No. That's the state of California. He knew it. He'd be a celebrity. He would be in, in closed custody or what they call it. He would have the finest medical care, three meals in a cot, and get married and have the attention he deserves being on the front page. That's what causes that at that time, not him or his little shitty upbringing, supposedly. That thing on your ear looks smaller. Yeah, it fell off. It fell off. The maniac said on a lie that when I eat it on film, I said, no, but you get me a hot girl, I'll eat her boogers on film. <laughs> it's not too. I've eaten, I'm a big booger eater fetish. <laughs> this is the I'll eat a girl's bloody booger anytime. <laughs> this uh, wipe it on my dick. <laughs> And I give myself a blowjob like Brad's buddy, Marilyn Manson. <laughs> There's no way you can't even see your dick, much less suck it. You can see it, though, and you can suck it, too. 
You so, wish. Okay. Suck it, Brad. <laughs> Rob's <laughs> famous <laughs> for saying that in school as a student. <laughs> Didn't you? From you from the wrestling? Yeah. What did you do in school? Tell us the story. Five years old, I used to write suck it and all this stuff. I didn't even know what it meant. <laughs> Thanks, Triple H. Yeah. Shawn but Michaels. What I was going to say is, you know, this is the type of banter that plays while I'm editing the videos, and I do it in bed next to someone who will always remain nameless. <laughs> so I'll be single in about seven days or less, probably. <laughs> Did you get an ultimatum, Robbie? No, but last night sh she wakes up. I'm sleeping in the living room. I'm tired of hearing this shit. <laughs> she doesn't like that you're back into piss. It's not that. I think she's more jealous. She wants more attention. She wants. She's jealous that I have a better time with Lenny than I have with her. <laughs> Except sexually, of course. Exactly. But I mean, I'd rather film and do a training video with him than have sex with her for four hours straight. I'm hey, sorry. listen. Oh, oh, this wow. gets back to it. I'll be on the street. So maybe Woman, come it. and go. There's only one Lenny. Oh, is that her? Yeah, it's, it's interesting, Brad. I mean, I, I would like your advice since you've had... Those tight knit relationships where you sleep in the same bed. How do you give your significant other attention? How do you detect it? That's what she wants. Well, you gotta, you gotta fuck her. There you have it. After a certain, t oh, I can't say anymore. Show her a little affection, or you don't. You don't even have the urge to. Uh, I do. It's just you know. It's like if I'm in a good mood and one wanting to hang out, she's not. Vice versa. It's just. Things are just off. You just don't click at the right, same time. Lately, but I better shut my mouth up or I'll be on the street tomorrow. Why? She listens to this? I don't know. Things always find a way of getting back, people. Uh, and it's funny. If you're on the street back in Los Angeles, I have a feeling the Night Stalker would be afraid to fuck with you. It's always old ladies or little kids where there's no man in the house. But once those Mexican guys start chasing this little sorry ass down the street, because they saw the person that identified and they took it to police sketch artist, and they made such a good illustration, they put it on the front of the Los Angeles Times. And everyone's looking at the paper, and they see him standing there to wait for a No, bus. no, they found his real picture. Is real uh, a mugshot, I uh, guess. Yeah, because the, the fingerprints. Yeah. Well, no, that there was a. I guess one of his friends told a cop in San Francisco what his name was, uh, and as soon as they found out his name, that but was he was it. on the front page of the Times. Yeah. And everyone's recognized him. That's him, and they start chasing him. He's he took off. People were coming this way. I would have loved to have seen footage of that. Well, watch the documentary. It shows some of it. Yeah. You have Netflix. I see with it. No, I saw him bandaged up, sitting in the back of a cop car. Uh. <laughs> I can't stand Netflix because it's, it's like the way the screen is set up, and you end up spending more time looking for something to watch than watching something. That's very true. It's very annoying. That's true. It's too many choices. Yeah, it, it is. You're right Can about I bring that. up a point on North Korea I learned? That <laughs> they had a defector. <laughs> sure. Or no, what it was was when they shot down that Kore South Korean airliner in the 80s that we heard about, the people were in... Some Arab country, the two perpetrators that somehow, whatever. But when they brought him back, they know in, South, in North Korea, if you're captured, you're a military, you're on a secret mission, you're taught in basic training how to make yourself bleed out. There's a way you got to bite down on your own tongue. So when they took this people into custody, they had face masks around them, and they had their tongue in all sort of like a locked chastity belt where there's a ring around it, and they aren't able to bite down on it. But that's like what instead of a cock cage, a tongue cage. Yes, and that's what they're required to do. Imagine biting your own tongue and bleeding out from it. That's a mandate, and many men have done that. Wow, this they no, were doing that in the Korean War. There's no artery that goes through your tongue. Is well, there? they were. That's some. I don't know how they did it, but they would bleed out through the tongue, which is probably a long, disgusting, and painful process. Huh, that's interesting. Well, that, I know somebody that yeah, should bite their own tongue that. and bleed themselves. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to put a cock tongue ring on him. He's under suicide. What you should make after, him drive his the, truck like that after the tenth can of you know what? Since he's so depressed, he should be on a suicide watch. We got oh, a little geez. device for you. Nah, he 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 deserves to live a long, miserable fucking life. <laughs> so here's a good article. I just I do this from time to time. This is in the New York Post. This bodes well for you two. The name of it is "Men with These Sexy Features Are the Best in Bed." Survey finds <laughs> beauty is in the eye of the beard holder. The rom-com cliche of a well-stubbled sex machine with a piercing stare might not be far off. A recent study found that beautiful beards and brown eyes are the biggest indicators of whether a man is an assassin in the sack. 
The salacious survey conducted by OnBuy.com asked 4,500 women to list the physical attributes of men they have had the best sex with. Clocking in first was facial hair, with a whopping 73% of participants claiming that their best sex partner sported a heavily forested chin. And in proof that bad boys finish... First, men men sporting piercings and tattoos came in at 70% and 62% respectively, also in the mix with a broad shoulder at 68%. Uh, beards have been shown to help men better absorb blows to their head than the naked chin, leading scientists to deduce that these tough tufts evolved as a result of male-on-male combat. Very good point. <laughs> That is yep. true. You got Brad's beard. He's good up a lot of that. But I definitely agree. <laughs> Women, that's what turns not with w- not with boxing gloves. Now think of the nerdiest, narrow-shouldered man that's over, say, twenty-one that you could imagine. Ian How McCarthy? about the skinny kind? Yeah, with a pot <laughs> belly, no facial hair, like hardly a, able to grow any hair at all in their bodies. Like, those su- like Zuckerfuck. Oh yeah, perfect. Well, now I don't know. He's. I mean, real. He looks like he plays some tennis every now and then. I've seen worse. But the pot bellied, narrow shouldered, pencil neck guy, but the guy with the puffy neck. That's a real problem, a hormonal problem, too, with fat around the neck. It's a thyroid problem, probably, right? Yeah, which is included in, included in all of it. Sounds it. like you're describing Mark, Mark Lobliner if he got off all the drugs. <laughs> Absolutely. A lot of guys, if they got off the drugs, they would look like that. What do they call that? The goiter neck? <laughs> well, when Lenny said pencil neck, that's what made yeah, me well, think I remember of him. Going to church in the eighties and some of those older church ladies, neck out to here. I was it was too low thyroid, then they would you'd have a few that they'd walk around their eyes like this. They were hyperthyroid. It was scary. This one woman Yeah, it makes your eyes pop out. Oh my god, it was horrible just watching her. She would walk yeah. around like all twenty four seven. I don't know how she slept. It's like they got a, a pillow and it just fall asleep. Well that's what I recommend. Iodized salt and I'm going to get uh my sink. Uh, Solgar sells a perfect formula, 50 milligrams zinc, 2 milligrams copper, which you need to absorb the zinc and I think a certain amount of iodine in it. So iodine is a nutrient that helps with the thyroid. And I highly recommend everybody take that supplementally, even iodized salt. People go to the sea salt now, it has no iodine. The old Morton salt, iodized, you need that. Don't let anybody kid you. That'll prevent a lot of thyroid problems. Have you had any thyroid problems? Never. No. no. And I've taken uh, thyroid T3, T4, T2. T3 in 2006 when I was pretty lean, me and Miyama were taking a ton of it. And there was always a warning, oh, your thyroid function will never come back. It does. It bounces back. What'd you take that for? It feeds up your metabolism and gets you ripped. Okay. Like I said, the number three, three top ripping drugs arguably are clenbuterol, ephedrine, and T3 thyroid, DNP. If you have access to those and use them properly while you're dieting and doing a little cardio, you will get ripped. Wasn't clenbuterol originally an asthma drug, if I'm not mistaken? Yes, still okay. is. Albuterol. Albuterol, yeah. Okay. The clenbuterol specifically attacks a certain amount, a certain receptor that really burns fat. But it downregulates, so your first time on clenbuterol is magic. You burn fat and you actually get stronger. You could actually put on muscle. It's so pronounced, but you don't want to do that long term. What, like four weeks? It'll down regulate before then. Some guys, they'll take something with it. What is the name of that compound, Rob? It's antihistamine. It's supposed to make the receptor open, but I don't like it because it makes you feel sleepy. I forget what it was, but some of you know out there. I haven't died in four years, so I forgot, but thyroid, two days, two, I'm uh, sorry, clombidial, two days on, one day off, two days on, one day off, something like that is a good way to do it. Alternate. You can alternate between that and ephedrine, which has similar effects. Now, that last bit of stubborn fat, and you could, you know, Dan Duchesne brought this back, was DNP, that industrial chemical that I explained before guys were using it. It's in a variety of manufacturing processes where they're in a, making munitions for World War One. That's just, very dangerous, right? It can be. You got to like, Rob, do, you, you, like, gotta, you gotta dose yeah, it like yeah, Rob, perfect. would you like to announce the dosage you took on that, which... <laughs> a lot gave me the chills recently. I did it last, how it worked for I did you. It last year. I will say I lost 22 pounds in eight days. No shit. Yeah, stuff really works. Were you eating? Not much. Um, so it kills your appetite. No. Well, it's a I, metabolic uncoupler. One thing I will say, though, is it kind of felt good not to eat because it, it allows your fat to be used as fuel. So you don't really, like, you can... It, you can go hungry on it. I felt fine. But anyway, so 
Um, it was 200 milligram caps. You're not supposed to go over a thousand, but I took one. I didn't feel anything. Took another one. Then the next day, took two more. Then the next day, took three. Then the next day, took four. And it takes like three days to all really hit you. I didn't know that. Has a very long half life. So um, by like the fifth day, I was up. You can't sleep if you take too much either. I was up all night and I thought I was going to sweating? Die. Sweating? Sweating like crazy. I was drinking. I probably drank four gallons of water that night. There's nothing you could do. The best thing they do is you go to ER and they put you in a bathtub and fill it with ice. Even then, there's no guarantee. Did it raise yeah. your body temperature? Oh, yes. To, to about what? And I don't know. I Two didn't to three it. degrees. It's like, which contestant? It's like a f- like yeah. 101, 102? It can, get, it can get you to like 106. It gets you rich, too. Shit. Yeah. What the fuck? But yeah. I would never recommend anybody take that dosage, and Rob shocked me. So I was just laying there thinking, man, I'm going to die from doing something silly like this. It's not even like I'm competing for a show, or that wouldn't even be worth it. But You can get go blind. You can get reality cataracts. Check. Yeah, that too. Your vision, get, I don't know if I, I it like burns yellow the tissues. vision. It burns the liver. That was the first dieting drug prescribed in, the Mer- in America in the 30s. Everyone was taken until all these women start getting cataracts. Some people die and will literally cook you to death. You're up 101 degrees and you're like that for a week or two. There's nothing that can bring you down immediately. You will so die. So you're supposed to take the recommended dosage and wait a couple days? You just put, or keep it like. It stays in your system a long Yeah, time. right. Keep it 200. 200, 300 milligrams a day. So after you took that blast of it, you didn't take any more? No, I did. I'm surprised. I just took less. <laughs> I'm surprised he survived. But, but Tony Huge, what he what he recommends, or, or he says like, oh, I take 1,000 milligrams. The reason why he's able to do that is because he'll take 1,000 milligrams, and then the next day he doesn't take any. And then the following day, I think he might take like a little bit less, but that way... Taking a thousand milligrams and then taking the next day off is the same as taking five hundred every and day. Some people you can get so weak and lethargic and sluggish you can't even move. But I've done it for the past three contests I had, twenty fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and two of those years I was pretty damn ripped. And that really worked. But you want to stop shortly before the contest to let all that po- poison come out. But DNP has been shown to fight Ebola and a lot of other diseases hmm. because it burns everything up, like a fever. A fever kills right, a lot That's why of you get a fever to fight off. Yeah. yeah. But it's it's an uncoupler. And well, how I can describe it is a car with two broken pistons where it keeps giving off heat and there's no ceiling to it. So how long do you normally take it for? A week? Two weeks, mostly. And what did you do? Two weeks? Uh, like 16 days, I think. <laughs> 16 days. Robert's always going above and beyond because he's f- more, more, more morphing into the modern day Dan Duchesne. He's got a good dose. I was down to like two. I'm 260 now. I was down to like 216. No shit. Yeah. But I wasn't like training. You can't train. You can't. I couldn't have trained on it. it I trained. could because I was so hyped up and uh, I was so heavy. But I remember biking it to work in the morning and I'm coming in. I'm literally. Asian girl came up to me, walked by. Before we walked in and put my shirt on, she goes, you just get out of the shower? And I looked at myself. I was like, God. Cool. Sweat. Sweat. And, um. But I was, what well, looked like muscle, just the fat just being eaten off. Eaten off. you very vascular, too? Yeah. You hold a little water on it, though, right? They say you don't you do. see the best results until three <laughs> days after you stop. Yeah, to get the impurities out of what you. What made but. you take it? I, I thought that. I don't even want to get, they're tired of hearing about my health problems, so I don't want to get too into it. But I thought that if I eliminated enough of the fat, I wouldn't have to take aromatase inhibitors anymore. And um, I just wanted to, I wasn't lifting at the time, so I wanted to get down to like 220, shredded, and then build back up. Tony Huge has a good protocol where he takes a small dose, which is one capsule, 200 milligrams a week, and he gets into contest shape like that because he's already lean, but... Some people say it is a great, I agree, and there's a lot of medical protocols. It's very useful for it. It's being studied quite extensively. You just got to be careful. Very good. I don't think it's worth it to, for anybody to mess with something that could potentially kill you. I don't think. The, the guy that um, I used first got stuff from in Connecticut, he was a, a, a nut job. He could have been a pro. He had the physique and everything, but he just was a, a loony loony. He was a nut from all the trend and whatnot, and him and his girlfriend were getting a fight. Uh, would fight all the time. One time I picked him up. He's like, yeah, we're fighting. So I said, screw it. I took a whole spoonful of DMP and he's sitting in my car like like he was going to die. It was scary. I mean, it's easier and more pleasant ways to die, but I wouldn't suggest anybody kill himself, of course. <laughs> that's not the way to go, to cook yourself from the inside out. Not a good feeling, scary feeling. No. Yeah. 
that's it just when I when I used to get the powder, I had to mix it in gelatin caps, and I had to pull the caps apart and use this little microgram scoop, which is a tiny, tiny scoop. And I had to put on rubber gloves and something around my face because just sniffing the burned and it lingered and it was burning and then it would discolor the counter back well, in that old fun. dump you're i lived there that, that was all <laughs> yellow but it doesn't burn in your stomach you know stomach acids take care of it and the compound goes to every cell in the body and does its job which i will use it this year you know not rob dosages but a dosage that works for me and i'll make sure i stop before the contest because i'm going to come in big and ripped you're going to see a remarkable transformation this year and cornelius and dale are going to see it up close personal you think they're going to come down for it yes they will yesterday in a video that hasn't been released uh released yet it was so hilarious he's i'm filming him and he's talking about cornelius and he says and what are you doing on your instagram every time i try to read your stories the screen moves away fast is this some <laughs> yeah. type of trick <laughs> yeah i can it's good information all you have to do is hold it i try was prone stinks no you just hold the yeah. what it is because i didn't know that either until cornelius yeah, yeah. told me because i said you write fucking but that one you picture. write novels on every fucking post i can't yeah. read all that shit he's like just push your finger hold it down i like that just, picture of a certain platinum blonde in that blue miniskirt I didn't and see blue it. hand heels standing next to Dale. I, I saw that it. up close. When was that? When that platinum blonde dressed up for the ruby that night. Oh, his wife? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was a nice lady, too. Yeah. She was a good sport. Didn't you tell her she can pass for a tranny yes, or something like that? Yes. <laughs> I wish she was. Giggle. Full of compliments. I wish she was. <laughs> That's Jane calling me. Answer it. Let's get it you on. Somebody asked answer. about it. Just tell her she's on a podcast. Don't. <laughs> Hi, Jane. Hi, how are you, Mr. Andrew? I'm good. We are actually doing our Don't Rain Misfits podcast right now, Jane. Oh, you're doing a podcast? We are. Care to say hi to the maniacs? Huh? Care to send, send your greetings to the Misfit Maniacs? You're Jason in the background. You're live, Jane. We're doing our podcast right now. Put Jason on the phone. What? No, no, Jason was just telling something. What, who lied to you? Oh, my God. What? No, Jane. I lied to you? It comes to fight. I said, I said you're live on our Delray Misfits podcast right now. We're doing our podcast. Oh, that's nice. Okay, well, when you're done, maybe we can talk, okay? Okay. I don't want to be live on your podcast. I Too late. Sorry. Just, we'll just talk. call to talk. We'll just call to talk to you like yesterday. I was supposed to call you, but I worked too late. No, understood. We'll talk later tonight or tomorrow. Okay, very good. All right. You take good care. Have a good night. Okay. Thank you too. Thank you. That's his next door. Let me get that picture. That perfect. <laughs> he, he probably what? hacked into what is that? phone. He's peeping Tom at him. That's his neighbor. <laughs> she definitely it's her it's probably from her Instagram or Facebook or some fucking thing. She is. Yeah. Fucking smoking. Interesting. So Adam, a, I think you're lying. I think that's your wife. You're not telling us. That. That's insane. Jeez, I got to move into his neighborhood. <laughs> well, hopefully, uh, if she has a camera or any type of electrical equipment she needs set up, maybe that'll be his way in. Right. Like a surveillance system or something. Yeah. Home yeah. security system. <laughs> Jesus. I bet you when she gets a glimpse of him coming, I'm sweaty after one of his workouts. <laughs> He's up in the crawl space. <laughs> yeah, and she's all... <laughs> Cameras down the yeah. fucking air yeah. vents and shit. <laughs> she, did she see his fight? <laughs> you guys got to center yeah. the fight. She'll be oozing between those legs. Maybe he should, his open, his line can be, hey, um, you want to come over and watch SmackDown Friday night? <laughs> Maybe he can give her some boxing lessons, like a little kickboxing. She yeah. works right at the front desk. She have any far Does she? Go. Lives a very mundane lifestyle. Yeah, like a, she's like, I guess, the leasing agent in that complex. Well, when we go to get our penthouse suite over there, we'll have to pay I think you two should go apartment hunting. Yeah, That's perfect, yeah. right next to Redcon, at least. Are you guys going to start a Patreon? People have been asking. It's, see, we, I'm thinking either the Patreon or there's a YouTube membership feature where people can... I don't want to make something where people have to pay to see every... I think that'll just build resentment, you know? But Well, you could put a Patreon up and make it donation-based. Right, there's that, and then I, I also think... Don't Patreon, do it the way we did it, because we totally fucked that up. It, it's, a, it's a good idea for a backup with the YouTube thing. Things are so crazy right now, you know, it's like one bad Rob, video can... Or I'm sorry, Rob. Yeah. In the case of being paid to cause resentment to that 6'9 character, Rob Wilkins or whatever his name is, uh, 
The guy with the tattooed uh, face and the color in his hair. Who's this? The Takashi Six Nine. Do fucking people pay oh. for his merchandise or concerts and have resentment? No, they love to fork that money over. Well, the the point I guess I'm trying to make is even if it's set at three ninety nine, whatever. The, you never know. There could be somebody sitting out there with zero dollars, and I don't want them to feel like they can't get access to. Well, How I think this? as long as you put, as long as you continue to put up free content on YouTube as well, right. Right. and just put the more edgy shit on Patreon, yeah, and do a two dollar, a three. You could do different tiers, right? Right. Like you could do a higher tier for Lenny to actually do a live with the person. I think there's all kinds of options on Patreon to look into. Yeah. Like you can, you know, certain Patreon members can pay to directly speak to you on like a phone zoom or something through patreon well on that same note i mean me and lenny were discussing because i got to start that new job tomorrow and that's going to eat up friday saturday and eat up my tuesday so you know i'm obsessed with the filming the editing and stuff so hopefully we can work out something where we could do this full time that'd be because we're taking it to the streets you know you guys saw cassidy campbell a little hint we're gonna make stuff he does look like a joke yeah like and if you guys i'm going all out if you're gonna be looking for a place and you two get a place together, and that could fund your. I'm going to put really costumes on. I'll put a. You could film Ku Klux Klan uniform on, yeah. and go down in Sistrunk Boulevard, take a little stroll. Hey, St. St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. That's a big thing down at Atlantic Avenue. You can have fun with that. Dress up like a leprechaun. Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> Fuck me, I'm Irish. <laughs> How about some green body paint and bring so and so with us? Because he likes to wear nothing but paint. <laughs> The point I was trying to make to him before is that, you know, the gym videos are great, but it's like there's a there's that initial fan base and we got to do things that, you know, uh, attract people who don't know who he is yet. And then they can go and watch all his videos. So like different prank videos, things out in public, him uh, saying certain things to girls, if any maniacs. Maybe taking a dump on the sidewalk like that bum on Atlantic Avenue. That's a, I don't know if that's a maybe a little more idea. family friendly than that, but uh <laughs> Yeah, if any maniacs have any ideas, they can they can message any There's of us. Families watching this podcast right now, listen to it. As a family, they're going to be sitting around. Some places are still shut down all over the world. Actually, most are, and they're actually on the big screen watching our podcast and listening to it as a family by the hundreds of thousands because you figure that counts for one view that there's a room full of people so the outreach right is we there. got we got the analytics did you tell them what it was no. last month for one month i guess it was like seventy thousand. they didn't say nothing vi- yet. visits to all wherever the podcast was played. and we proposed totally different idea. platforms yeah. we announced it on the live this year's Mr. Olympia we held in Orlando, Florida once again, which is two and a half hours away from us. Let's have a Misfits greeting. You come all over the world. They're going to have it in our We're going to have a booth, yes. Yeah. We're going to have a booth. Uh, and <laughs> all Misfits, come out and see us. Come out to the booth. Enjoy the weekend. I'm sure there will be an expo this year. And you, what are the what are the dates? It's I think the ninth, the eleventh. I could be mo- of mistaken. What? September. But it's the first weekend in October. October. Okay. And the Mr. Olympia always used to help in September in right. Vegas, but they move it up to October. And I think if we all get together, maybe we get Synthol Mark out there because that's his hometown. The weather start, the, we, the weather starts getting nice because we're too. planning on getting a booth, no matter what it costs. No matter what it costs. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, some other things. Um, what if they put your booth right next to um, Cali Muscles? Perfect. You'll see him pack up and leave, just like the- <laughs> if he knows I'm coming, she won't be there. Just like at the Olympia, knew we were coming. Where was he? And he lives out in L.A. How far is it? One hour drive to the desert? It's like three, to and, Vegas? three, okay. and, a, three and a half hour drive. He obviously, he didn't show up. He doesn't have the guts. But uh, the things that get to me is you see somebody uh, online like Big Boy, Strength Cartel. I enjoy his videos. I think they're great. Nothing against him. But you see somebody like that making a, a great living off of this and then... Well, and, they're providing videos. They have the financial capability to provide better videos. Right, but you're... But they're not going to be better than even, ours. Even shot on an iPhone, you're much more entertaining than them. So it's just like I... I I want to help make that happen to where you're at that level. And any maniacs who want to help in any way, of course, we, we welcome that. And also, uh, I just want a lot of the comments they're saying, you know, um, referring to me as uh, how you were with Jason. 
me with Lenny, and I just want to say I look up to Prince Andrew in many ways, especially how he keeps his hands clean. Let's put it that way. He never says, I've never heard him say a bad word about anybody, which is very difficult, especially being involved with this stuff. <laughs> it's so easy to just start picking fun at someone just to get an easy, cheap laugh with Lenny. And I've known Andrew for two years. I've never heard that. So a couple of the first videos, I was doing more of the call outs and more of the, you know, cheap uh making fun of people for a cheap laugh but slowly <laughs> I'm, slowly i'm learning how to be more of myself and let you know lenny kind of cause the ruckus and i'm just there to film it so if you guys are genuinely entertaining together which you are you won't need to do that stuff you know yeah, just you don't be yourself don't overthink it right? just be yourselves just, yeah. that's it I noticed because I looked at your channel today that the shopping video is the most views of uh, any yeah. of the videos. Well, we got another yeah. one because you're outside. You're doing something other than being in. We the got, got two Walmart more coming one. out. We got a GNC Good. one. Yeah. yeah. And then we're going to get an Amber Crombie and Fitch one. We got a Boynton Beach Mall one. <laughs> oh, you went to the Boynton yeah. Beach Mall? Your old stomping ground. That is a doornail. <laughs> yeah, that place is a Guess dump. who I ran into, and I knew it by the curvature in her surgically repaired back. Veronica, who hasn't ah. haven't seen her in over a month. What'd she say? She avoided she you? She got shocked. She saw me. She had her huge bags with her, of course. Two heavy bags, carries her on. How does she look, Rob? Be honest. She looks much better than I expected. Okay. She actually looks good. She's 58. Well put together, well dressed. She's almost 60. Yeah, she looked good. Was she nice? Very. Oh, good. Although the girl, at the, we did want to do a survey, and we were going to film it, and I knew we were probably going to get stopped, but here's how it happened. As soon as you walk in the entrance, there's a survey place to the left, and then you yep. go into the mall by the Marigrand. There's another one. So we went in. There's a gentleman in there. We asked. He was the manager. He says, oh, go down by the Marigrand. He saw Rob filming and say anything. So apparently he made a call yeah. to the girls down there. It was two. And said that there's a guy filming, which he should have told us then. We would have stopped. Yeah, they, the, the security there goes around on segways like yeah. Paul Blart. Yeah. You know, the mall cop. <laughs> I haven't been to that mall. So they had a, time. you know what, about 80 pounds that's pulled up right with us on a segway looking around. I'm thinking. <laughs> then it comes to my attention. And there was a, a white a brunette that when I came in, she's like, please stop filming. And Rob says, yeah, I'm going to go stop. He stopped. I'm going to go get a phone call. He left the building. The little what fucking difference does it make? It's a shopping mall. So guess what? You know, it's and not the Pentagon. Me, so I'm going to do a survey. And she says, yeah. She's like, we got a vodka survey today. I says, good. And she asked me my experience with vodka. I says, I don't buy it. I drink it at bars, but I'm not interested in buying it. What, what kind would you drink? I said, Smirnoff. So because of the fact, that's the only thing I can think of at the time. And then she looks, she says, what are your age? And I said, 50. You know, although I don't look 50. I had to say it. And she said, I don't know if we have any something in your age group. I said, what is this? It's a joke. I said, what is this, age discrimination? I laughed. And she looked at me. She's like, you know what? She goes, leave. You're making me uncomfortable. Oh, and I said, why? I says, I came in to do a survey. What's wrong? She said, you came in here filming. I said, I came in here filming. I said, the gentleman I was with, as soon as you told him to stop filming, he left. And then she's like... I'm uncomfortable. Leave now, please. What is it with you in the Boynton Beach Mall, man? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> he left out a Can't even walk detail. in that place. He also had a shirt on that said orgasm donor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you left that part out. Uh, that, that. <laughs> Look at this face. So in other words, what are they saying? <laughs> what girl doesn't want an orgasm? There's certain people that are in nameless that can't even give their girl an orgasm. <laughs> from what I've heard. He can't even get it up. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? <laughs> he, Brad says he can't give Did it up. Did he tell you his problems fucking her? I'm referring to you. Okay. He, he said certain, you're talking about yourself in the third person. Yeah, it was certain someone that my name was is 99% Brad, right? So when I said that, Brad says he can't even give it up. And I'm like, talk about self I thought I thought you were talking Brad about Brad. <laughs> can't get an organizer, he's admitting because right. his significant other who's a he can't get it up. I thought you were talking about Blubber Boy. <laughs> he's not, he's doesn't he doesn't qualify. He gets named every time. Okay. Trust me. Right. <laughs> With his the way he goes, uh, do unto others as you do yourself. Just like I don't know if you heard my song of his unloaded yesterday. It's by a bunch of dope smoking pedophilic hippies <laughs> called Pink Floyd. <laughs> The wall. It goes something like this. Jay don't need no Newport cigarettes. Jay don't need no Steel Reserve. Jason Masterson, leave them kids alone. Oh my god. 
I didn't want to add to the lyrics. And there's more to it than that. Uh, keep going. <laughs> Uh, but he would never go after you that hard because he idolizes you. He kisses your he kisses your ass. Lenny's my friend. Good. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Nah. I, I love Lenny because he knows the as soon as he fucks with Lenny, the maniacs will all turn on his ass. Already happened. That's why he's he's a fuck. <laughs> Here's a, a message from two Jamaicans: one with a pussy, one girl with a pussy, one with a dick, and the one with a dick is the goddess. Oh Jesus! Look, oh, I didn't know the goddess was. Do you want to read this message? Is that because it's not yeah. the yes, it's not the whole thing. You got to read it with a Jamaican accent. Look what she wrote to me. Read it out loud. I would just love for you to suck my kneecap. That is so cute. <laughs> suck my kneecap? Knee is that hurt. code language, or she really means her kneecap? Yeah, she says my knees hurt all the time. I have to. So take, take Advil. Pills. What do you need someone to suck your kneecap for? Take some fucking aspirin. <laughs> Isn't that what a normal person would do? <laughs> Put some she ice knows, on well, it. She knows Lenny's a freak and we'll do yeah. it. <laughs> what other things does she tell you to suck other than the obvious? Well, she's, she, should, she took a picture of the dentist getting the saliva sucked out of her. Tell her to take that thing home that keeps her gums open or keeps her lips open. For the maniac. Why, the why the fuck would she send you that? You don't see her dentist telling her to no phones. Why do you upload that to your Instagram? Because she doesn't know how to. How. <laughs> <laughs> but I got that little we'll tree. That's from all those dicks she sucks. Remember, oh. she's 56, so. All the caked on semen that's getting that's, fried that's, off. That's factual? Yeah. Oh. Candy. <laughs> Isn't that odd? Good. What? Self-incrimination. Proud of it, too. The proud boy. He's got his face pressed up against the window. <laughs> <laughs> he can. He's He just beat a 500-pound bench presser oh, very sure. quickly. He's like Mike Tyson. He's got that rep now. <laughs> One of the comments I loved is they said, they said, um, you won't you won't let him into Bradford Manor because you don't want him to plant any bad seeds with the Taco Queen. What does that mean? Remember he did that post. It was like the, seed of a weak husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Planted. Oh God. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's all fun. We love you, McLeod. I asked him about any upcoming uh, wrestling events here because I think if I get Lenny there, where they have like the, the meet and greet before, that would be a nice video content. We got to do it right though on like the, the NWO video. We got a question for you from the Donkey Kong Fitness. Who's a, he's a J Dick rider. Yeah. But he's okay. Why did I love Robzilla delete part three of the video? Can you tell us what happened? Um, what part? You've had like a bunch of parts. Yeah, no, I, I know what he's talking about, but if I say it, you know, you know about it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. If I say it, it's just going to make things worse, but. Then don't say it. Whatever yeah. it is, don't say it. Good grief. Look at those World War Gym backpicks. Yeah, it's incredible. Where did Jeez. that, where, where'd you find that? I'm going to add it on there. Huh? That's the old World Gym with the T-bar rows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see Andrew posted that picture today about it? Yeah. They're still Depressing. fucking, they're still yeah. living in yeah. What the fuck? You know, Grape Gorilla, he uh, he left a comment on that Instagram post telling me I should inquire about getting to Delray Fitness Sign, so I called them today. And they said they're going to call me back tomorrow no and let, let me know what they can do. Would you call the landlord? I looked up the um, uh, the property manager's phone number. Okay. I heard the landlord was a real fucking asshole. The landlord of that of just yeah, that, that property? Plaza. Yeah, that property. Yeah, no, I... Uh, We'll see. See what he well, says. Well, they got shut down because fucking. I think who was the last one that owned it? Jerry, that little mean Before. fucker. No, there was a guy after Jerry, middle aged guy, the China. Brazilian guy, China. wasn't no. it? There was no the white Ken. Guy. Yeah, Ken. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And they were like fucking over a hundred thousand dollars. We thought he, back, yeah. he. We thought that was going to close before him. Yeah, but he said, "No, this place isn't going anywhere. This and that." As soon as Planet Fitness opened up, that was it. That was the ball game. Unfortunately, could have been a U fit. At least you had more equipment. <laughs> Any updates uh, on Christina Broccolini? Another picture of her on the on a boat. A maniac sent it to me. A how how old is she now? Her birthday is actually March 9th, which is close to Jay's. Jay's, Jay's I believe, is Tuesday. Who? Big Jay. 
Tuesday, I believe. Oh, that's right. I forgot it is the birthday coming up. And you don't know how old she is? She was born in 80, 87. I think she's early 30s. Okay. And how many kids is that for her? She had two, and they're in Italy. And she's a good mom. And she's, she's pregnant. Saying, she's pregnant again? No, I think she had two, but boy, she, she was so slim. Yeah, she looked good. All right, I'm making my weekly crank wanker. So here you go, maniacs. Guess who? I doubt he'll answer. Who are you calling? Which one is this? The bully. He's going to ask him if he needs any, and needs his pampers changed. <laughs> He's not drunk enough to answer the phone. People are nailing Dale from one of the videos I released. They're saying, do Rob's laundry. Get to Florida. Get Rob's laundry done. <laughs> Uh, Five. Wait, no, no, it's going to say the number. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Should have let it go. <laughs> <laughs> He's holding the well, fucking mic to the... To to. He's so, <sighs> such a lonesome loser out there. Some people are happy in their misery. Why did everyone look at me after that statement? <laughs> <laughs> how, long you, how long do you think you're going to last? With what? Keeping up with the uploads and filming and everything. People, people, it's not even work to me. I enjoy it because yeah. it's like, yep. you're going to hang out anyway. Might as well just film everything. Exactly. And you know what the, you know what the big improvement is when we used to film like a year and a half ago, first of all, me and him didn't have a, as much of a rapport. So there wasn't as much to talk about. And then second, it's it takes a little while to get comfortable on camera, whatever. Yeah. So now that I am, I actually enjoy watching our videos, which I used to think just, oh, seeing myself on, anyone seeing their self on camera is cringy, which to a point, yeah. You know, I, I cut myself out a lot for that reason, but um, it's not work. And that's a great thing. I mean, last night I edited 12 videos. I got home at nine. I didn't stop till six in the morning. Holy shit. You do it all on your phone too? Everything, wow. yeah. Which, I mean, is a setback in a way because I'd like to add, like, you know, copyright free music, make it add a little something to it. But for now, I think that's what, you know, the, the original videos are. They like that uncut, unedited, just... It, as long as your content is genuinely entertaining, you don't need any of that crap. No, it's you real, know? that's for sure. What'd you well, say? Well, a lot of, a lot of real. you know, they'll... Yeah. I'm very little editing, right? Yeah, well, the, the thumbnails, too, people put a lot of time. Jason used to pay a kid to do his fucking yeah. thing. Yeah, it's not even yeah. worth it. Well, no. a lot of people put clickbait in their thumbnails. Yeah, no. You know, right. Like, if you go to McDonald's, no. they put McDonald's. So then anybody that Googles McDonald's, that video might come up so you get more traffic. It's I, like a little fucking... I couldn't imagine sitting there for 10 or 12 hours editing one video, putting in all these fancy graphics and edits, right, right. and, it, you know... <laughs> Unlike a certain so and so slant eye, <laughs> you only need to do that if your content is weak. If your content Get isn't, it. if your content isn't weak, you don't need any of that. Crap. Get it, pinworm. The thing I do have a little, a little, I wouldn't say trouble, but it's just I, what to edit out, what to leave in, because they want to see everything. Right. So I, I end up leaving most of it in, but then I don't want it to drag, too. I mean, I, I'm watching it as a fan as I edit. And if I start to get bored, then I know, you know, something needs to be cut. But myself, I cut a lot of myself, but anything that he says, I want out there because I know that's what he would want. Yeah. Even so-and-so's phone number? Yeah. I figure it would lighten up his lonesome truck ride getting calls from maniacs. Oh, that's what the malt liquor's for. Well, we're definitely going to try to get a, do some filming with him, whether he likes it or not. So we're going to go on a little stakeout for the big rig. No, he usually goes in hiding when he comes back here. How does a 350-pound whale hide? <laughs> a drunk whale. Well, she, you know, when he stays with Linda while he's here, he's not allowed to drink or do any of that. So he's very quiet while he's here. She doesn't allow him to drink because she knows what a fucking psycho he is when he drinks. Other than that, he'll he tell just, you that he's not. That's not. A he's secret. just a real dreamboat to her, apparently. <laughs> so another thing, she's got, I, she's got high standards. Apparently, excuse me, <laughs> Stockholm syndrome. She's scared of. Him. I got a Linda who sent an interesting text. It's not your cookie cutter text. Robert, I won't. Call, I won't call her a whore like he you calls can't. Valerie a whore. Did you hear? <laughs> but anybody that would this. fuck Jay, please read this and read this. Have some self-respect. Which ones? Read this and read this. Search Jamaican. So she said, "Get a strap on so I can fuck you. Bring me a strap on, big black one. Can you come over tonight? I have a vibrator I can fuck you with." And you say, "Next time, baby. Happy Valentine's Day, Linda." <laughs> 
<laughs> read the next sentence she puts in. It's oh, that's yeah. the uh, real peculiar. Hello, how are you? I have a warrant for my arrest, so I'm going to go and turn myself into the gun club Monday. <laughs> what? I'm going to have to bond out. My bond is $1,000. My daughter going to get me out. Interesting. Her daughter's a colonel in the United States Army. That's that's uh, shotgun, Linda, right? Yeah. So okay. in some cases, the apple does fall far from the tree. She does have a nice young body. She's a real freak, too. But <laughs> did you ever get that? Can I fuck you with a strap on, Brad? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Thank God. So she obviously is a, a real big fool. no. You don't take it, though, do you? Yeah. Oh, you know you who tried me on to that? Just, yeah. <laughs> Juicy. Uh, Juicy broke me in uh, quite comfortably, and it was great. Uh, I could see what Jay used to rant about with the prostate massage. She used a strap on it? Plenty of lube. And it wasn't a big one, but... Oh, my God. <laughs> and I think so-and-so was doing some sucking on the other end. <laughs> but I don't want to look down. But no, I sat sideways, and she went behind me, and she was like... I was like, ugh. Was it, was it enjoyable, really? Yeah. <laughs> Much. Prostate, yeah. And Rob knows yeah. Juicy in Congo. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And I lost Juicy's <laughs> number. I know where she lived, but it's a huge carbon club. It's way out past Same Road Trapeze. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll call the rain nameless. Way out west of 441. And it was great because, like I said, I'd come over. <laughs> I take my 1.4, 15 minutes out. I'd come over, open the door, a nice apartment. They have, like, the Bob Marley pictures all over the wall, nice big flat screens, liquor, little bottles of this, little little containers of that, smelling like weed, and about 10 black girls of all ages, size, sitting there naked. And here I come, and she always told me to go in her shower, beautiful bathroom, Nice, everything lined out, nice fluffy towels. And I had to shower. <laughs> Let me just, just yeah. make sure, make sure you're clean like, your ass like, real good. Like, a, like a no normal person's house that's, oh, that's clean. Great. And you it, come out naked. It sounds so scenic. Yeah, he's he's are, used to going into the fucking crack house. Just. Well, not that bad. <laughs> but the girl's sitting there looking at you and they're scared to death, not knowing what you are. But she made me feel right at home. That was great. That was good, clean fun. And one of that event that I never got to go to, uh, Clammy Land, they were calling a, they were doing a big, big event at somebody's, I forget what it was, I think it was a hotel, where there'd be like 50 girls there, because it was called Clammy, <laughs> Clammy Land, yeah. Instead of Candy Land? Yeah, and they had, they, she had to take a picture of me, me making a statement, and they would vote to see if they want me there. So either apparently I lost his number then, or maybe I got turned down. But it was a naked picture of me explaining <laughs> what I'm into. And well, what did you say in your little I said, oh, I just audition? Like, hmm? I, just, I just like being turned on and abused by women. And I do anything. So who has that video? Juicy? Yeah. Hmm. She was a, a, but you lost she her number, right? She was in the 60s. She was in the retired U.S. Army. Those retired military chicks are freaks. Let me tell you. Freaks. Freaks in a good way. Mm-hmm. Treated first class there, never paid a red cent. That's great. They got everything you like here too, Brad. The drinks, the smokes. <laughs> They're pit bulls? Uh, no, 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 no dogs. <laughs> but apparently, unfortunately, Congo got violent with her a few weeks later, and she had to kick him out, and he went back to Chicago. But she's still here? Apparently, but like I said, I lost my number with my phone. I also lost old man Chuck's number. I need to get it. If anybody could set me up, Mark, if you could DM the number to Prince, I would appreciate it. I'll email Mark tomorrow. I'll see Thank if you. he has it. Yep. That little man, Chuck, moved, he moved to the West Coast, right? Yeah, but he wanted to always con contact with him. Hmm. Old man, Chuck. Chuck was used, like a father figure. He used, he used to walk around the gym with that shirt on. <laughs> He had, it was a picture of himself yep. ironed onto a shirt when he was he was wearing what purple speedos. Yep. When he, when he competed or whatever. <laughs> this is me. Yeah, he competed. With the He'd walk around players. showing everybody pictures of himself on his phone from this when he competed. Be Jason. His posing music was, "You are my lady." He said the girls went nuts. Oh my god! It should have been Kanye West Gold Digger. Male <laughs> yeah. Why would you post old pictures of yourself? But when, look, I, when you looked better, now you look like shit. What the fuck is the I, point of that? I don't know. 
So Arnold should throw all his old pictures away? No, but yeah. to keep reposting it, like, okay, what? I'm, some people like it. Some people, yeah. I'm interested. Yeah. Like Saul, I'm interested in his younger pictures, too. Because when he was pushing 80, he looked pretty damn healthy and good. Very well-minded, too. And I'll never forget when it's one of these torrential rains. For an 80-year-old to pull over on the side of the road, get soaking wet, and ask me if, to throw my groceries and my bicycle in his trunk, that just doesn't happen. You're gonna guys, you're gonna get mud everywhere. No, no. So yeah, he was a good guy. Yeah. What did he do throughout his life? Of, I don't know if he was Korean to War, and he, I think pawn shops. It's a big business. I mean, people are always gonna need money. So, boy, I saw a funny picture. The old DMZ after the Korean War, they would have little scuffles, like fist fights between the guards. The South Koreans and Americans would be on one side, MPs, and the North Koreans, and they were all real small, you know, because starvation. And this big white, <laughs> white American, blue-eyed American MP <laughs> grabbed this North Korean MP, slammed him against the car, and he's throwing it down and punching him. I gotta find it and send it to you guys. It, it is hilarious, just <laughs> we're laying yeah, into him that. so bad. You find a lot of good shit. You send me a lot of videos. For some reason, though, when I try to click on the videos you send me through yeah. Instagram that are linked to YouTube, when I click on it, it won't let me go to that YouTube video. I know. I don't like that. It's weird. You can send DMs, but you can't post shit. Who knows? I'm going to get an upgrade on the phone. Yeah, these are so much better. Small. This is a piece of crap. Potato phone. I noticed on Dave's <laughs> show that the, the, it was horrible. Absolutely horrible. The quality. Yeah, I used, to, I used this phone to do Leo's podcast last week. Instead, of, I usually use the, I have an iPad mini that I usually use. This, fo this phone actually worked better, but this is a t XR, the 10, whatever. Mm -hmm. This I didn't have any glitches, nothing that whole time. Yeah, we're going to have to do some uh, XR cameos. On it, and they, they, were, they flew through last time I did them. You can do them on here. You're still, I still have the app for we'll you. We'll do them on the way home or something. Thanks. All right. As you see, I got the picture for Bradford Manor. Could you? Could we put it up at a ceremony, maybe? Sure. What days? What days? You Tuesday, Friday, Saturday? That's your new schedule. That's permanent. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I'm hoping that hoping that it doesn't work out secretly, so I can go back to the other. secretly, yeah. which means you're going to sabotage yourself. <laughs> Probably. I can already see it. Tomorrow's 11 a.m. to close, which is at least 2 a.m. No shit. Yeah. Every Friday and Tuesday is like that. Hmm. So, you know, if we get our uh, things in order, those are hours that we could be spending filming. I told him today, I said, let's just get in the car and go to Vegas. It's like 15 to 20 Oh, I bucks. found that DM. There's a guy out there that you can crash at his place. Interesting. Take care of you. This guy, Joey, he messaged me on Instagram. He asked mm -hmm. if we were going to Vegas this year. I said, I'm going to try to get out there this year. He said, but is it going to be closed down where a lot of the amenities will be out of, out of touch? No, it's open. The guy I work with just went there last week. He said it got real ghetto. Everything's real cheap now. Yeah, cheap. But I mean, what's the difference if we, you know, we can train and a place like that for those prices is pretty. We get, as long as the uh, Las Vegas lounge is open. Shut down. He's closed up. That's a disgrace. Yep. You can read through those. Absolutely Don't disgraceful. Don't read that loud, though. No, no. I miss Atomic. That was fun. I wish all we all could have went. That place was not what you... Maybe it wasn't like Las message. Vegas Lounge, either. That was fun. Instagram. Is that still open or not? No, they closed before. They got raided. I'll give it to you first. But that was fun. Club Atomic? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Some nice-looking girl. You want to drive to Vegas? Well, I was just saying hypothetically. Well, the tickets are so cheap, too, now, right? Yeah, flights are... Can yeah, real cheap, yeah. man. Why would you drive? You'll spend more money in gas. I want to go to and Lewis's tolls. new dragon lair. He ducked out of here, and he set up with the dragon lair, and he got... There's a whole bunch of gyms out there. Yeah, but that's the famous Flex Lewis. He's a legend, and he's doing the Olympia this year, so... And I DM'd his Instagram, and I says, can I come in? And he said, he said, sure. He goes, I never told you you couldn't, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. There's a lot of people in Vegas in the bodybuilding world. But I'm saying, yeah. you know, driving there, you're going to fuck up your car. You're going to have so many... No, nah, yeah, I wouldn't drive there now just but. rent it get a fucking rental when you get out there get a flight that cheap yeah You're gonna pay more in gas apparently right thinking. now it's still cool out too it's nice yeah the weather's good well yeah try to do it before the beginning of may yeah that's when it starts to get really hot june july august yep. is rough. i'm hoping i'm in canada by then for at least a few months you've Send been a magic you've, carpet you, you've been out there yeah. right you've been canada? to vegas yeah 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 canada you can't get in or out 
I will. I mean, you can, but it's a fucking process. I messaged with Aladdin today. He said he's been wanting to come down here for months. Yeah, you should have came down. It's the perfect time. I don't know. What did he say? Because of the lockdowns. It's a big pain in the ass. I think Bruno Bruno just went back and he had his, I guess, what did he have to do? I think 14 days. What part is he from? Quebec, I think. Oh, that's where Chris the Broccolini construction is located. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> we met a few guys from the, Canada in the gym last week, and that's the, that's the first thing he asked. He said, "Any uh, do you know Broccolini Construction?" <laughs> <laughs> they have T-shirts. Or so. Nobody know. knows who the fuck she is. She's a real cutie pie. I like her video for TLN. She got like fifteen thousand views. And what is T- what is 50, TLN? The Latin Network. Oh, okay. About the COVID in Milan. Did you comment on the video? Everybody did. It was all maniacs. Oh, really? <laughs> 15,000 views. She, get with she Lenny. Can you have a kid with Lenny? Oh, my God. There's no way she doesn't know who you are. Oh, no, hell no. Absolutely not. Probably has a fucking restraining order. I'm going to see her one of these days, that's for sure. She'll probably jump in my arms and <laughs> overwhelm me. She'll jump yeah. off the nearest fucking bridge. Probably. Get away from you. Oh, come on. She'll turn around and run. Her security. Well, does she uh, even have security? Probably not. I don't know. No, I don't think she would. No way, yeah. Rob, do I got game or what from what you've seen? <laughs> I like the finger quotation marks game. The cookie cutter type. Yeah. You know what it is? Is Everybody's so scared to approach right. girls that it doesn't take He's much. Great. That's all it takes is just having the guts to go up and say something. So, yeah, you do. And if you get a negative response, it's fine. You move on. You don't touch, though. <laughs> you got to go tell me. I never heard of such a business. Even the guy that managed that store, when I came and I told her what that girl said, he said, I apologize. She said, me saying that. And I said, to ref- to ref- you, you business to make money. And she looks at me and says, I don't feel comfortable leaving. And I said, yeah, that's what girls are taught these days. Anything about the work? And she's still working there and gets away with it. Imagine if you this is said a, that. This is the point. You, what right? if you told a client where you're at, yeah. Prince, I don't feel comfortable and please don't call me. What kind of nonsense is that? And I wasn't filming at all. And in the moment he told Rob not to film, he left. You, I come in here filming. I said, me? And so what? It was, yeah, it was ridiculous. Even Veronica. You know what? As soon as she says that to you, you turn around and you walk out. Yeah. You don't pursue but it. You don't. You just, the good thing about there out. is you do a survey. Because next yeah. thing you know, she'll accuse you of doing something you didn't do. Oh, is that what? This yeah, is? simple survey. Like, what, talk about vodka. What do you like about? They'll show you different bottles. What do they pay? Like five dollars? Twenty. So what they do? Twenty. Yeah, and you got twenty two or bucks three. cash just to do a survey. Yes, you come right out with cash. Hmm. It just had to be the particular survey you want. And they wanted men. This will be all be in the video or no? You yeah, yeah, no, okay. it's in there. Except for the part where he had a deep, it's plain to see. But for her to say that, and then Veronica, that's, will, that's what pisses pissed. me off about the whole filming in the gym thing too, is because ev- everybody else can have their phone and film. Right, right. Yeah. Film Funny thing it, was, film me, nobody the said a word. To us. Nothing. Or somebody, if good. somebody's walking through the mall and they can film. Oh, I got these new shoes. I'm can, shocked. But you can't fucking. Walk. Well, the ball was fine. It was just in that store that oh, was an okay. issue. Oh. Yeah, you know, I know that cookie cutter term, Karen. But that is true. There's Karen's running rampant, the white gal that thinks she runs the show and it's all here to please her. And if she's a little bit offended, heads will roll. <laughs> that That's not going to fly. And her manager, that gutless wimp, it is. He actually <laughs> called security, admitted that. I said, why, I think, why didn't you tell us not to film right then and there? You have no balls. But I'm, I'm not comfortable. <sighs> then go work somewhere else. Yeah. Shouldn't even come to that. You're not comfortable interacting with the public. Don't fucking be there. Just like the woman in the hospital that terminated me. She wasn't comfortable. I want them gone. Yeah, because they were looking for. They have all the power. They were looking for an excuse to fire you. You know that. I don't think. I don't think so. No, I think it was some Karen. You and said they, they were on your ass for a little bit, and they wanted to hire other people. They were pay the, not this, because you were getting more. You were getting paid more than the people. No, because I was running. white. What happened was when I was a supervisor, they would they had a one eight hundred number, which most businesses have, and the P brains that I work for, other supervisors, they would tell them what to do. And my thing was, which is that famous course, how to raise children. You tell them what to do, and that's it. You don't argue or debate because that gives them a power and the authority. If I, you, this is what you're assigned to do. You don't do it. I'm going to send you home because that's insubordination. There's not one thing anybody asked me to do when I was a worker that I didn't do or other workers. Can you lift this for me? I always did. All right. As long when they, security had a, a 900 pounders in the morgue and we had to transfer them out of that the kitchen freezer, which is, is illegal, which where are you going to put them? Come have me lift it. Now, I'll never forget, we had this heavy-duty sheet. 
that wasn't supposed to rip. The guy, we got him and he fell. It was a doctor son in a wheelchair, 800 pounds. And that dead weight fed on my leg. And I looked at his face. He was covered with his liver spots, like, you know, from infected liver. Mm. I've seen horrible looking like guys with huge welts on their face because their livers. And it fell on my leg. And that dead weight was so heavy. Oh, you could have been like a certain so and so sued and got workman's comp for a few months. Yeah, but I didn't. I always played it safe. Never, t- I still never took a penny from unemployment or anything. Disability, not a penny. Because yeah. some woman wants me gone. I'm not comfortable. Leave. There's your for new t- There's your new T-shirt. I'm not comfortable. Yeah, because it says I don't. That's irrelevant. Orgasm. Yeah, but, you know but, the funny thing when I was at Miami, people were so illiterate they didn't know what the hell they said. <laughs> Organ donor. By the way, who's making the shirts on that other th- on your the big Lenny show site? Who's making those shirts? Aladdin's making shirts. No, the Teespring, the one that's the link. Well, I'll say this: a certain peeping Tom. I've, <laughs> is that? i I thought you were because one of them had your picture of you in the stupid, absolutely stupid. I reached out to that person after that, and I please at least run things by Lenny before you post it because. Well, Lenny, he doesn't give a shit. Right, I should have said. Care. I should have said me, but I don't want. Lenny doesn't give a fuck what's on the shirt. But I feel like it's a situation where, if, who am I? I? You know, it's not like it's. Ultimately, it is up to him. Yeah, but but then, but then you'll be accused of trying to run the show. Exactly, you that's know? the point I'm trying to make. Like you're if, trying to seize control. If I'm putting in six to eight hours a day, um, we'd be working out together regardless. So less, but doing all the filming and we're trying to build something together and the sayings like that, like weird energy or the things that come up, those become marketable things. You got to really capitalize Aladdin on it. Calls it lineisms. That's good. Right. So I mean, it's like you got one shot to release a good shirt or a good product with Correct. that saying on it you release something stupid and it kills the whole i've always yeah, wanted a right. shirt for brad called brad to the bone oh my god <laughs> it's so <laughs> fucking <laughs> cheesy no it's not it's so fucking <laughs> cheesy <laughs> jesus brad to with a big picture of his face tats uh, cheeks everything man. the hair brad to the bone that'll make zero dollars in the post, no one in the postal uniform believe me i know brad to the bone He's, and on, one he's of, on the same wavelength. And one of Jay, with those fucking weird there with a sometimes steel what? reserve and a bottle and a rattle and a bib, going wah. <laughs> Let's hear it, Brad. I, you got the best one. Uh, I already did. Let's hear it again. Uh, wah. <laughs> Well, we got the bumper stickers for his his rig. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get some de- decorative decorations for that place. Yeah. Baby on board. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> kindergarten oh. kindergarten honor student on board. <laughs> get re- get ready for another six hour drunk blithering idiot live <laughs> ripping everybody. Who's he going to go after next? Blubber boy on board. <laughs> That's with the spray paint blubber. Brad should have drowned his kid. Oh, yeah, he, so you should have been drowned. I'd rather have a daughter like her than a son like him any fucking day of the week. I'm going to cut off his oxygen. Whoa, yeah, my. he's such a fucking clown. <laughs> All he is is tall. He's just a, the Motor City mouth. You talk about That's self-incriminating. mouth, exactly. It's like him he coming to a He thinks he's so clever. He, tell, he tells everybody his strategy. Like he's some kind of fucking genius. Well, you just told everybody what your strategy is, you fucking dipshit. On that one famous video, I think somebody did. Why did he grab his glasses and break them and throw them on the rig? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I know the video. He's putting on a show. He thinks he's in the WWE. He gets that. Like his mommy told him he couldn't drink in the house. (laughs) Wasn't that though that you play to win the game around? No, mommy lets him drink. Mommy lets him drink. Mommy drinks with him. It's Linda that won't let him Brad, drink. don't talk about my mother. That's pretty low. You can't talk about his mom or his injury, but he can talk about anything he wants. Because yeah. I'm Jay Masters. I talk about myself in the third person. Because I get my way. I'm was, the tough guy. And I got my little bowl haircut when I was a kid. <laughs> and I'm going to go to Michigan Stadium with my bowl haircut. And all the old ladies, oh, isn't he cute? Let me give him a hug. Uh. If my mommy doesn't buy me those cocoa puffs, I'm gonna throw a fit on the aisle. <laughs> I bet you he was bedwetting since he was 12 years old. Actually, he never stopped. Oh boy, <laughs> this is what he wants. He loves the attention. Even if it's negative, he doesn't care. Good. 
Because <laughs> certainly no one can challenge him to a boxing match. No, he's Heaven retired. Heaven forbid. I'm just going to shoot you. But you expect people to show up where you're at after you threaten to shoot them. Okay. <laughs> Fucking dipshit. <laughs> I can't clock him. So a bread wants to come over. I'll just shoot him. Andrew Kalor is a pig. <laughs> shoot him too. I heard he sucks cock. See, he wishes he could admit how much, how many cocks he sucks. Jay, how many loads have you blown? <laughs> Look, masturbating to men sucking cock on the internet. So untold amounts. <laughs> and I'm sure when you're drunk in one of those bars, you're probably fighting at the urinal to suck a cock <laughs> and drink the piss. <laughs> uh, Rob Sill is over there texting very quickly uh, Whatever Let him keep going on his drunk rants and embarrassing himself Six, seven hours though uh, God Yeah Who the fuck could listen to that voice or look at that face for that long? Jesus Christ I know a certain so-and-so so Publix drunk? worker, not Jason did. <laughs> <laughs> No Cuban <laughs> Who's going to be? A, wants to, I, we're we're going to get him on. The, I, invi on the I invited day. him on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, while ago. yeah. He, he's pretty I told very him witty. Time he can come on. He's very. He's good. Yeah, he had sorry. a good political rant the other day talking about why Biden's going to increase whites hating blacks and where whites are going to start using the N word openly. I believe Do you think it. I see it all he's right. not scared to come on here? You think Jay might? You know. That's exactly the case. That's, I, yeah, I, noticed a, I never thought really? of that. I noticed yeah. a little Jay, bit of that the Jay, other day. Jay will get mad at him if yeah, he comes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's why he won't. That's yeah. fucking ridiculous. See, Jay loves well, least, he wants to control at everything. At least Jay's will still sorry, have one there, friend. Man. If you're my what? friend, you won't go over there with them. I remember the guy I used to live with. Guy that did jail time for assault on a Delray cop. What a fucking what a fucking he was so mad a goddamn girl. He went to the gym and all these people come and talking to me. And he, he's he's Kai when he comes in the room. You and your many friends, Leonard. I said, Yeah, why don't you have some? <laughs> he says, I don't ask for him. Maybe it's something about you no one wants to be. Yeah. That's a that's a, that's little a little shame. I used to live with real piece of garbage. Wow. You know, that's paying everything. Ugh, big lawyers. Unless he do starts doing PCP, smoking crack. Do you ever I try PC? Do you ever try PCP? No. Me neither. Yeah. I know a guy that said you? he took you? it and he got on his Hell motorcycle no. yeah. and he started driving around naked, eighty miles an hour. <laughs> he came in high on my PCP on the one 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 night because I didn't have a lock on my door when I was roommate with him. This is after he was released from prison. And I'm sitting there and I had a big bottle of that old Thailand Diana ball. It was like a can with a screw top, plastic can. It's like a thousand of them. They look like pentagons, small pig pentagons. And he opened this. He said to me, got enough pills in here? And I'm sitting in a recliner watching TV. I'm ignoring him. You got enough pills in here, huh? Do ya? Do ya? And I'm just ignoring him, thinking he touches me. He's going out that window. But of course, his mommy will call the police on me. Because he never did anything wrong. He's on the front page of the Palm Beach Post. Oh, he, he, he's got one of those enabling mommies. Oh, my, it was disgusting. Like somewhere else we yeah. know. And it was front it's page. Damaged. Just damaged So goods. and so masturbates in the Winn Dixie parking lot. You know, on Congress and Linton Beckman was Winn Dixie. And he's in the car and he's smoking crack. And Dowry PD, you know, knocked on the door. Please come out. And he comes out with a box cutter, slashes one in the neck. And I remember two days after it happened, after it was in the paper, he's in the ICU. They cracked his skull open. They had him all bandaged up, rightfully so. And then he ended up getting four years. But they hired Goldfarb, one of the top lawyer, criminal defense attorneys, paid him like family, paid 50 grand so he could just get four years. What was he looking at? 20, 40. And then he, they had the article sitting out at his home like years later. It was in the files. And the mother comes up and shows me, because everyone was passing around the hospital that morning. And she says, look at this. All lies about my son, Walter. And then she started calling him Wawa. Oh, my <laughs> fucking God. And then he was a peep. He would work the cash register in the hospital. And I remember a guy coming up to me, hey, see that guy over there? He was on the news when he lived in Tennessee. He's a peeping Tom. And sure enough, he was, because as soon as he got out of prison, the Haitian girl next door and her parents, the police come, and I'm there, and he was at work. He was some type of job, you know, for pris ex-prisoners. And he says, can I talk to you? The police officer says, I hear reports your next-door neighbor says you walked into her bedroom last night. <laughs> and I said, no. And he says, and you're always looking in through her window? I said, if I wanted to look at her, I'd go up to the Palm Beach Jew Zoo and look at the uh, gorilla display. And he started <laughs> laughing. He was okay. And the parents were like, well, quiet. They, was going, they, they knew I didn't do it, and they knew who did it. They didn't say anything. Walking inside the house to eat. And he was doing that in our neighborhood, masturbating in front of the real fucking sicko. Jesus Christ. 
Yeah. So all it takes is some enabling parents. Oh, my boy. Would Meow Man could give you some stories about that, fam. Let me tell you, because, and Mike T, too, used to pick me up, take me to the gym. Is Andrew said he's coming down here in the March beginning? Yeah, there's April. a maniac from Boston who's going to take us out for Wagyu ribeye, mm. tomahawk ribeyes, which go 150 bucks a piece, but they're worth it. We're at cut 42. Is that the best place? In Delray, yeah. I said well, anywhere, yeah. It's got a good job at the city. Looking forward to it. Do you know he's the actual fly do you, meow man down? Do you know the dates? Do you know the dates yet? Either the end of beginning round of this month or next month. So that'll be good. <laughs> quick, uh, you mentioned masturbation. Quick degener- degenerate masturbation story. I was thinking, <laughs> have I ever done anything worth notable masturbating wise? <laughs> One time I was 17 years old, I texted, I was texting this girl back and forth. I knew her for a couple of years. And she said, oh, I'm, I'm home. I'm with this girl, Kira. They were both, they were all right. And they were like, we're fucked up. Come over. I said, well, could we have a threesome? She was like, yeah, yeah, come on. I was so horny, I, I jerked off on the highway on the way there. <laughs> and you ruined it. Ruined it. Turned around uh, and went home. What do you mean you ruined it? You're 17. You're just getting rid of Well, I, in a way, I think it cursed it or jinxed it because I got there and then we went into the house and then her father came down and was like, what are you guys doing before uh. we even got started? And the girl that was texting, Jess, she came up to me and whispered in my ear, I'm on five tabs of acid. Oh, boy. <laughs> or no, she said, I'm on acid and i said what, what the hell is that and she said oh nothing it's just like smoking a lot of weed yeah okay well isn't that great guys remember back to your early teen years when girls would come on to you and they knew what they were doing an older girl like one of, like an older woman like in her 30s who for some reason it was she wasn't babysitting but she was staying at the house until my mother came back my father's at work and she's coming sad on me. I was on the recliner watching something in the afternoon. Scooby Doo. No, I, I didn't watch that as a kid. But then I started liking the Super Friends, Spider Man, Tarzan. Remember that? He Man. Yeah. Yeah. How old are you when she she came in? Sad Fifteen. Yeah. Oh, she's, so you were. Yeah, she sat on my lap and I was looking at me and started rubbing my hair. I was like, oh man. I like when those freak girls had she me over the house. Yeah, and they would always. He'd hide behind the stairwell and people would smoke and get away because it's so big. And he'd skip class and he was such a good hiding spot. And, you know, be six girls and they'd say, oh, let's see your dick. It was hard, hard as a rock. I could barely take it out. And it was, that was, that was, those were the days. Nothing like it. Flasher Lenny. Yeah. <laughs> have Flasher you ever, have, Jack. Ha, have you ever gone to one of your high school reunions? Never. And when is your next one? That would be. I don't know. That would be a trip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when did you graduate? What year did you graduate high school? Eighty-eight. Okay, so in seven more years, it'll be. Uh, don't tell me forty. I think so. Yeah, it'll be forty. Can you believe that? I remember my parents twenty. My father used to go down to the gym and the garage and pump up and take a shower before everyone. Oh, he went to all of his. And we mostly went to one. My mother, she graduated oh, gotcha. year older than. When I went to Oakmont to see John, and I went to my mother's reunion, like one of the early after parties, at this place called Carnivores, which is brand new. It's like a nice club, restaurant, good food, pizza, steaks. I had so many guys tell me how much of an ass my father was and how he used to pun- like beat the hell out of people in practice and, you know, just ridicule them and stuff like that and really give people cheap shots. I mean, I had 10 guys tell me that. I, I was kind of shocked, kind of embarrassed. And this guy's like, your father made my high school a living hell. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't think he was like that. They were just quiet. He says, no. Hmm. That's the guys on the football team, you know. You plan on getting in touch with him before he dies? Shit. He'll live to be 120. He's very keen on staying lean. Very. Speaking of football, Lenny, um, someone sent me a question to ask you. Hang on a sec. Uh, one sec. He quit drinking in the 70s. Don't do any of that. Don't take any medications. Well, if you don't talk to him, how do you know any of this? I know him. He's definitely still there. Here, Lenny, here's a question. Someone DM'd me here. Greetings, Andrew. I have a question for the next podcast directed toward the, tr- the chocolate golem. What is his opinion on the Steelers franchise dealing with players acting more like celebrities rather than athletes? Some old examples include Antonio Brown's narcissistic behavior and Le'Veon Bell frequenting strip clubs and making absurd music instead of attending practice. Even recently, Juju and Claypool are too busy dancing on the field and yet have the audacity to talk shit on teams which publicly sodomize them. That again goes to head coach Mike Tomlin. I personally feel, again... He's missed the affirmative action coach. He started it. He was hired by the Rooney Rule, which Steelers owner Art Rooney, Dan Rooney, said you must interview a minority candidate 
when making a new hire, which makes no sense to me. Your goal is to hire a qualified candidate. And not only that, that's got to be he's letting that's it gotta, go on. That's got to be insulting for the for the black coach that gets interviewed, knowing that he's just going yeah. in there just because they got to. They have to interview one, exactly. knowing he's not going to get hired. Then they go. That's, that's, that's fucking even, insulting. Right. Just hire the most qualified person. All right, yeah, let's get this fun. interview over with and get this quota shit out of the way. Come right, on, so yeah, that's what that it nonsense. Is. It's terrible. Just like Biden, I'm gonna. I got a transsexual head of the health. Yeah, department. it's a bingo board. You I have a woman. Fill in the fill out the bingo I have card. A Latino. I have this. Yep. I have that. Go over all bases so nobody can come at me and that's, call me. That's yeah. disgusting. Because you're identifying. No, I never saw color. no, that's diversity. Yeah. Yeah. And they put that all the time on human resource. We started that word diversity. They say, you hear that word, you get out of the room. And they say, come over and sit in groups. I'd be sitting there. And then they're, they're like the lady telling me to go over here with a bunch of women. I said, this is my group. They're supposed to come to me. Just come and sit in groups. I hate that. And then the men and women are, ooh. And the worst thing of all is when a white man says, gets up and says in the divine diversity meeting, as a white man, am I allowed to say that? Or I hear girls saying it too, like certain words. Does that make you uncomfortable reaching out and kissing ass? I've seen it so much. I, oh, it makes me. I see there's mostly no, girls there's do no it. There's no common sense anymore. Supervisor, this girl who had no business doing it, but they had her after me, and she left. It's funny. They take my job away from me without even telling me. And in three weeks when there's chaos and they're getting complaints, the line isn't started, which I always did. And a director has, look at me, say something. And you know, I hear, you took me, you took away my position, Barry. Lenny, do you think there's any, do you think there's any going back from the insanity that's happening right now? Only through extremism. Oh, it's just going to get worse. It scares them because we're letting it get worse. And if I hear one more time about capital riots, I'm going to puke. Yeah, that's so funny. That was a show. Insurrection. Yeah, Ooh. the worst thing ever. Shut the fuck Yet up. Yet that well, trying to seal and burn a police. Shut the fuck up. You cook a precinct door together, welding it shut so they can burn alive. Nobody even knows about it. Oh, these fucking dipshits. It's such a such. You're going to have to get extreme. How'd you like... Yeah. And you're My Governor, philosophy is: Governor Cuomo, you think I'm going to go and ask dish. somebody if that's okay? It's I say He's what I want. Fuck. If I got something to say, I say what I want when I want. That's called freedom of speech. You don't like it? Go ahead and kill me. Cancel you. That's what they do. Cancel you from them because all these platforms, not all these platforms are run by these They've fucking oversensitive jerk offs for the past hundred years. That's a big commie tactic, just like the Romanovs in Russia. They're all canceled. After that great Russian revolution. And then the great Stalin goes and starves 20 million people to death. What did you get when you talked to uh, Max at my place the other night? What did you get out of him? You, were, you seemed very interested in that conversation, what he had to tell you. Be, very. Him being Russia. from Russia, yeah. yeah. Very much so. He says it wasn't as bad as they thought. They're pretty level-headed, but what that devil Stalin did, and I've seen pictures of ugh, black and white parents with their baby on a wooden table in a freezing cold Here's an arm, here's a leg for sale because they'd starve to death. And that's people buying that to put in their stew. <laughs> Little kids with no clothes, skin and bones everywhere. Disgraceful. What are you giggling at over there? You think that's funny? It's I just funny. tuned out and then I hear him talking about putting people in stew. We're going to make <laughs> yes. a stew out of you, Dale. Yes. <laughs> and he didn't care. He took all the credit. People know. People don't know about this because when he went to do collectivization, he went after the small business farmer. We're taking everything you got. They destroyed it. This is government property. There's nothing you could do about it. And you're getting nothing for it. And they starved to death. And he wanted that because when the government's doling out the food and they said, we, we can't feed 40 million people. Then they plan away. Well, we're going to eliminate 20 million. No one's going to know about it through mass starvation. Mass starvation is worse than being burned alive. It's a slow, torturous feeling that none of us could ever experience. You have no idea what that feels like. It's horrible. And it may happen here. Hopefully not in our lifetime. Wonderful. Their diversity training, how to be less white. Oh, I read about that. Yeah, yeah I saw that. My theory is I never took a drop of that piss. I don't drink that shit I would either. rather Fuck, drink piss. Cares? And for the average person that was drinking, except the whites, you make a statement how not to drink Coke. They're going to start di Coke. dying cocaine because it's too white. <laughs> I could have taught that course 10 years ago. <laughs>
<laughs> what does that mean? Do you talk about a discriminatory, That's good. Um, prejudicial <laughs> policy? It's unreal. Yo, you know, they. So what do they say? The average clean cut on time keeps to himself good employee is wrong, is what they're probably saying. Because by that definition, I don't think there's any bad traits to that. Well, then we would be more towards the black side because we were arriving late, fucked up, in the back, <laughs> doing drugs. So we don't need that course. That is true, unless you have discipline. See, they, that's the limbic system. That has nothing to do with color. Humans are naturally going to take the easy way out of life and everything they do. That's why you need discipline as a child, as a baby, in the schools, in the job, in the military, wherever. Coaching, sports, going to the gym, you need discipline. That is the over... Not somebody's background is why they do this or that. They never had discipline. Like Ramirez. He never came into a house and some guy broke his little ass in half. Because he would stalk those places out looking for the, the meek. Training their employees to be more white. To be less yeah. white. Can you imagine? That's so racist, but you can't... Uh, reverse there's no such, race. Re there's no reverse, such word as reverse racist. Reverse racist. Exactly. I, I don't even go it's there It's anymore, such Brad. fucking it's bullshit. Common You're right. sense. It's fucking bullshit. Like Andrew said, you walk away. I don't engage no, yeah, in conversation yeah, with it. Do you see a, no. a beehive? You're going to go and it falls on the road. You're going to touch it and engage with it? No. I like what uh, Brad Bart Scott, ex Jets linebacker, commented on LeBron saying he should he was going to play football and he'd do great. He said, "I'd knock your ass out." <laughs> Plain <laughs> simple. So <laughs> oh, prima donna. That's He's great. He's walking around down the field catching a pass. I'd knock your ass out. <laughs> he can't even take having losing his hair and going bald. He's got to get fucking. He's so into himself. Fucking if I did this, hair. I could be the best president, the best football player. Wasn't he carried off the court when he was cramping during the NBA final? <laughs> Finals. Remember that? Yeah. He was actually carried off the court, right? Aww. That's what Kellen Winslow Sr. did when they beat the Dolphins in that long game down here in the early 80s. They had the, the guys carrying him off the field. And some of the Dolphins, old school, like Bob Kuchiberg, came up and tried to give him a shoulder and knock him on his ass. His son got 14 years, by the way, for that rape on the hitchhikers and the older older women. Oh, yeah. I remember ex, that. Uh, uh, UM, uh, ex tight end. Kelvin said, Junior, he, oh. got, he only got 14 years for that. Oh, no shit. Yeah. And his father's blaming on CETE. <laughs> More like that Aaron Her Hernandez documentary. Did you watch that? Yep. Let's get money out of the NFL. Well, that's what you get, NFL. You suck. He did fucking suck. I could see why Vince McMahon did what he had to do. There's no guaranteed contracts. Because we know people go down. Yeah, and do you, do you even watch wrestling anymore? No. no. I see the clips that, that McCuck puts up. It's fucking horrible. Why would you waste your time looking at that shit? I don't know what happened. All these guys are like undersized. It, it's they not, look like some it's, punk you'd see. Yeah, it's, They're supposed to scare people like back in the day. Who, who is their audience now? Kids. Mainly. Millennial. Like eight, eight years old to... No, you mean younger. I would say like six years old. To and a lot of people that are, are admittedly homosexual are you do that, the homosexual. <laughs> but here's the thing is it's it's made for kids. And then you have all these adults bitching about it that, are, you know, it's not made for you. So it's like, of course, you're going to find it boring. But to, to a little kid, these guys are superheroes. You know what I mean? But Yeah, but they don't look like superheroes not at all. anymore. You no, know, when I, I don't know. When I was growing up, it was different. These guys were why? fucking huge. And we, we we go to the gyms. You see guys that are pumped up artificially, but you see a lot of guys pansying around. <laughs> <laughs> and seeing around. They don't want. They don't want to be uncomfortable. Is there? Is there? They're any taught if you're uncomfortable, you know things. You know um, the shit will hit the fan. Don't let it happen. Tell them you're uncomfortable. <sighs> I, I couldn't believe it. Well, you got that. fucking. Well, you got banned from Planet Fitness for what? A comment you made? Yeah. yeah. That's fucking ridiculous. Well, so they were made. What if she was lying? What if, what if she made it up? Exactly. Did, it doesn't matter. Is there any proof you said it? Doesn't it's matter. Not. Just like that person that you posted on a video yeah, sent not. that video to the administrator. Oh, okay. When they asked, but still, what did, did you he say to her? Take you care of them. Take a bite out of her ass. Who, what is the name yeah, of your relative that's currently? And he gave a fake name. He looked up, and said, "Sir, we don't have that name." But I wasn't questioned. That, that was immaterial. 
She wanted me gone. There's a certain woman administration. She wants you gone. Can I sit down and explain something? She wants you gone. My representative for my company said, why would anybody do that? I said, you ever hear internet troll? I said, they're all, it's, everybody deals with that. Jeez. You don't think they're calling every company and doing that, making pranks on people? The way we used to do crank calls as a kid, maybe it's paybacks, but you could do that about anybody. Look at all these. And people. you get a woman back there. Well, I don't even want to see him because I'm afraid of him. She saw a picture of me. Oh, oh, oh I, I'm a woman. I'm, I, I'm. I have all the power, but I don't want to do my job. This is where the hospital. Yes, that's just a sole person. Which I, you know, I forgive her. Whatever. Actually, I'm, I feel sorry for her going around these. And again, does the movies represent a woman like back in the back in the day, like Leave It to Beaver? Yeah, girls, women were cherished by family. They're the I ones that could cook. The men didn't cook. I don't. I don't. I don't blame you for not watching movies now. All of them are I just. Don't. It's fucking. Yeah. I they have to pander to everybody yeah, now. It's, it's they got. Oh, they got to insert the black guy, the gay guy, the gay woman. Nate, the straight don't woman. get me started. There's so much I could. <laughs> just I like so Andrew said about the white man being a buffoon. Man. The woman superhero. They love to see him beat. Not men like using karate and knocking out 10 men and then at the end kicking them in the balls and everybody in the audience oh, claps. That's why I'm surprised Gina Carano got fired being a woman, you know, but... What's her political view? Yeah. It's it. it doesn't matter when that comes to that. And what she said was not even that fucking bad. No. It wasn't bad at all. It was just a fucking... Bill Clinton <laughs> abused women and everything else. Kobe Bryant can abuse women. I know he did. He knew it too. He grabbed her and forced her down and raped her and he paid her off. Let's lower the flags. Don't even question it. It's Kobe Bryant. Let's put murals up about him. Are you kidding me? Just because he has money? Let's flow the, flow the, fly the flag at half staff at the death of Kobe Bryant. Kind of ridiculous. But that's what it is. It's people online. Oh, messaging Disney. Oh, Gina Carano has to go with this state. All these fucking trolls on Twitter that just, ah, I find it. People that are looking to be offended by something. Look at Joan but, Rivers. She oh, told, him, told him off and they blackballed her to her death. And it was like, good, she's dead. Or Rush, which is funny. The liberals use an R term, rest in piss, Rush. I never thought that was fun. But you know what, though? It's great, though, because every time something like what happens to G Gina Carano happens, it just exposes the hypocrisy because then people will go and look up old tweets and shit from like six years ago written by the person who fired Gina Carano. And oh, lo and behold, they'll be saying stuff, too. Just so like Trump. They're showing him supposedly egging it on. Tell everyone to take a walk in the Capitol. Yet they showed clips of Democrat after Democrat showing, this is a war. We need to fight. Take back. it to the streets. Yeah, they Maxine all said Waters. that. They all said it. Yeah. yeah. And they, and they harassed him in restaurants, AOC. harassed him everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Waters did say that. Burn it down. Yep. Yeah. And then they have a fund. Many to, did. A fund to bail them out, too, right? Many. Pelosi. We're yeah, not that's famous. right, Brad. Absolutely right. Why, why is why is that elderly? Because it's a double bitch standard. Have any? And it's worldwide communism, worldwide new order. These intellectuals, the Bill Gates, that think that the world doesn't can't move without him. He comes on and makes announcements like he's king of the world. I can't believe this shit. We need to go eating synthetic. We need to eat synthetic meats. Yeah. And he owns most of the farmland in this country. And I see someone who's doing express COVID testing where you get it the next day or whatever the results or something like well, that. Did, they pay you, get 30, more. you can get it 30 minutes later. Did you read the article that in China, apparently 10 minutes later, <laughs> they were testing, they were doing anal swabs yeah, on Americans. Yeah. They were sticking to That's this no thing idea. about that. Yeah. yeah. Anal swabs. COVID testing. Right. Set up a little booth. Anal With COVID your I test. love anal shirt on. Yeah, <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that Ron, Ron likes. He's shaking his head. Well, I'm thinking we could just say, yeah, turn around. Don't look. I got to put the meter in there. <laughs> I know. And it's, it's unbelievable. Thinking these people care about me, my welfare. <laughs> Bill Gates cares about me. <laughs> I cannot yeah. stand that fucking seeing that nerd. nerd. I can't even hear I like his, when he went voice. to Stockholm oh. or something and they started throwing pies at him. He smacked He's like, in the face with a pie, yeah. That was a long yeah. time ago. <laughs> fucking I throw work. dire human feces at him. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Dorian had the best quote on his Instagram. Bill, since you want to reduce the population so much, why don't you start with your wife and children? <laughs> <laughs> he said that. Yeah. Did he get banned? Probably from Gates. He's on a list. But that little eugenics pig and his father, people really yeah. see where his what he was taught. 
It's, it's just amazing to me how these media fucks can believe the shit that's coming out of their fucking mouth. It's so, speech ridiculous. When it's so fucking ridiculous. They were interviewing Gates and a reporter says, this is going to cause an economic collapse of America. And he gets this big smile on his face. They love that shit. Yeah, it's not gonna affect, why would it affect him? It's not going to affect him. Why would you him? smile? Because he's going to get richer. Yeah. Greedy piece of shit. The new press secretary that can't answer a fucking <laughs> question. Yeah. Oh, my God. Biden is just she, awful like, to look who, at. He hires all these fucking. He's not hiring anybody. Yeah. Others are hiring He's for so him. Old, ugly, and stupid. Imagine him. It's a walking cadaver. Oh, really, very simple. All that Botox. What if he came he, out with an R plugs. behind his name instead yeah. of a D? You trying to tell me he get elected if he was a Republican acting the way he does, regardless of policy? He'd be he'd be laughed off the stage. Yeah, they could have put anybody up. Trump wasn't getting Trump another derangement term. syndrome. And they fucking sad to say, people, a certain person close to me, the most easily to see. It's like a religion to them. I mean, this this individual, which I usually listen to conservative on the radio on a meeting. Oh, that's a lie. Rolling her eyes to everything. Facts coming out, but that's just like a religion to people. No, you can't. Facts don't matter anymore. I think if Trump runs again in twenty four, he's going to win by a landslide. He'll think of something this fuck. With yeah. Him. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're good try, at that. That's well, their they're, job. They're going to try to put them in jail between now They don't now care and about anyway. the country. It's how do we stay in power. The people think they care about the African Americans? <laughs> That's funny. No, didn't you just give 85 billion to fucking Chile or something for yep. missiles? Or whatever? Yeah. Like, gender studies. Yeah. That's okay. the new big Where thing. Where the fuck is the next stimulus check? Here, you want a gender study? Huh. Here it is. Men have dicks. Women have pussies. There's your fucking Sometimes gender studies. Sometimes there's a few natural mistakes from <laughs> right. childbirth. You get some hermaphrodites. <laughs> <laughs> you get some queers. I'm sorry. Yeah. Why do you need a billion dollars to determine that? I don't get it. Well, I tried that yesterday with that girl where I said age discrimination. Then I'm going to say, so you discriminate against my gender or something? And I said, what, what are you? And I said, no, I'm not. I'm neutral. I'm gonna put, I like to put them on. You like to throw it back in their face. Yeah, you should. I like yeah, doing next that. Next time. Yeah, let's just start going in the woman's bathroom when they go to yeah. take this house. You right? identify as a woman. Yeah, Absolutely. Right I'm in the middle of transitioning. Yeah. <laughs> just like the girl at LA Fitness. I'll show you one time with the breath. You walk in there, they ask you. Just do you want to rolls see in there like a guy. He rolls right in. I don't know what. It's it's fucking It's going to take it's extremism. It's bizarre, man. It it's really going to take extremism to, take, to stop it. It's going to take some bloodshed. I hate to say it. Are you willing to go that far? And how can it be done? Coming for the guns next. They say you're paranoid. Watch. As the older conservatives slowly start to die out and get replaced with the younger millennial crowd, oh, it's right. it's a numbers thing. It, I was watching the Carter-Reagan debate from 1980. At least they both had common sense. Some of these topics would never come up. They're talking about the important things. Economy, oil prices, the Russian threat. It was all cut and dry. Different ways to do it from both. But this bizarre garbage waste of time. And they started with George Bush Sr. making anabolic steroids, a Schedule Three controlled substance, in the, and those hearings on baseball. What a disgrace. Spending steroids time. Steroids save baseball. No, it's, yeah, it sucks. And they prolong careers. Roger Clemens still pitches in his 50s, almost 60. Roger Clemens' career was over when he left Boston, mm -hmm. and then he went to Toronto and revived it. And he, he was went to done. the hormone doctor. Yep. He was finished. Yeah, who gives a shit? It's better. It improves your life, improves your health. I'm convinced of that. What the fuck are you reading over there? No, it's just some comments? of the questions. Is there, is there a crisis about all these men getting female hormones, which are very dangerous in a male body? Nothing said about that, though. That's and they want kids point. to have it. That's a good point. Very dangerous, physically and mentally. And that health secretary was, we well, got to see that with Rand Paul. And all she wants to do is, I want to meet with you. And he, you know, he's thinking, you ain't coming near me, thing. I can meet with you, Senator. We can go over this. He goes, answer the question. It's a total fucking <laughs> Didn't he take his mother out of one of those nursing homes and put her in a private one at taxpayer expense? When was in New York? Who, Rand Paul? No, that uh, transgender mm -hmm. sent, uh Health head of the America, health department now. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> yeah, pulled her out to get her safe. Uh, right. What would you do, honestly, if one of your kids decide they wanted to change sex? What would you do first? What would you tell them? There's a slight possibility that I'd get caught. That's a that's a good question. I don't know. I've never thought of it. You know what I would say? I'd I would honestly flip it in their face. They like to the shot. I would say, ah, ha, ha, go ahead, and laugh and walk away. That'll cure it. Use reverse psychology. Just like a certain so and so who used to say to tell people when she lived in a group home, when they go on trips to the doctor's office or some shopping and they get a new driver, she'd play around with them. She'd say, 
when they were on 95, I'm going to jump out the window. And he gets scared or whatever. He called the police. They'd have to Baker Act or this and that. And I was driving at the time, and it was like 93. And I'm sitting there, and, I, and she told me, I'm going to jump out the window. We're driving on 95. And I said, well, here. And I unlocked the door. I said, you want to push? She shut up real quick. <laughs> Called her bluff. <laughs> yeah, they want to see you react, and they know they got they got power. I'll, I'll tell you a little attention. I'll tell you a story when the podcast ends. Okay, yeah. they can go to their teacher, they can go to anybody, and and they'll you'll get chewed out of that as a parent if you give her the wrong answer. That's sad to say. So I like back in my hometown. Everyone knew I'd messed around. My father beat the hell out of me. You couldn't call police. They'd hang up on you and laugh at you. Yeah, that's, And, just and people want to talk child abuse. If you don't lay some skin on that kid's rear end or a belt, that's child abuse because you're ruining them you're for their for life. With that no, attitude. you're supposed to just give them whatever they want whenever they blow a little fit. Yeah. Give them what they want. Shut them up. Don't give them any attention or love. Every case of just those. give them things and stuff. Article can kids on Dr. Phil. Shut up. I leave watch. me alone. Here. None of their parents. That's what give these little fucking spoiled brats. And there's kids out there killing their parents like never before when they're sleeping, cutting their throat, beating them with a baseball bat, beating up their, killing their grandmother, their mother in untold amounts right now because they never had that discipline. That's what they want to police. Let the you know what's do whatever they want. You're you're singling them out. Then what do they do? They get real arrogant. Then they do whatever they want. That's all the biggest joke ever. So my advice to people, when you get pulled over, you listen to them and you move when they tell you to move. You do anything stupid, guess what? It's on you. I have no sympathy for you, Mr. Floyd. Oh, I, show, I remember treasure. I sent you guys that video that Chris Rock, when he had the Chris Rock show on HBO, how to behave when you get pulled yeah. over by the police or what not to do. Everybody go on YouTube and Google that. It's Is he on the great. ball on that? It's pretty much right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's simple. If you don't want to get your ass whooped by the police, it was a skit, something like yep. that. Fucking great. Yeah, I have no sympathy for you. And that was fucking over 20 years ago. You started it. You run, you do this, that's on you. If you're not doing anything wrong, what the fuck you, what are you worried about? <laughs> Look at North Korean police. I, did, I was listening, watching this yesterday. They take people in a room and they make you sit like this on the floor, naked, with your legs crossed like this in an uncomfortable position. And guess what? They got guards that take shifts. And if you move a muscle, they start beating you with rubber hoses and kicking you all over you. Almost to a pulp. And you then guess what? They want you sitting there like that for 20 hours. Well, look at that kid they sent back here, yeah. you know, who's brain dead. But yes. what did he do? He stole a picture off a wall in a hotel? Yes, for less than that. For selling, oh, right. it was still for a selling stupid something thing to do, on the black but... market. This guy got beaten to a I don't remember pulp. his name. Otto Warmbler, I believe. Otto <laughs> So when you got, if you guys go to Thailand, watch yourself. Yeah, Are you guys thinking about doing the that? culture wherever you go. Yeah, you know? we need we need some guidance from a Tony. Hume. I do. I'm not going to be offended if I see a pretty girl with a penis. Trust me, pretty girl with a penis, a Brad. Cat yeah. on the grill. A beautiful girl with There's a penis. Plenty of them. You're probably eating cat. Yeah. What? Plenty of them. <laughs> it's, it just makes no sense. <laughs> Passport. Get it? Yeah. Well, read the comments since you read them over there. Read them on the I'm podcast. Checked out. I'm checked out. What's the matter? That's been? usually me. I like an hour into it, I'm brainless. All right, we can wrap it up. Anything else you want to say? Anything else you want to ask? What are you? What? what? What did you talk about? Me getting uh, booted for not getting some somebody a ring on Christmas? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, you know, I'm just referring. Oh, by the way, you never got to what? What did you guys do on Valentine's Day? No, I was talking about getting women gifts. You can't win. You get her a ring. She wants a bracelet. I never got. I never got that one a ring. That was the problem. You remember that? Yeah. Oh, you it was didn't Christmas. Get it. it was Christmas. I got her a new phone. Yeah. She flipped out because it wasn't a ring. I got an ultimatum. <laughs> if, I don't ha if I don't have a ring by Oh, February, is that who? Yeah, okay. I remember that. So I was oh, like, if yeah. I don't have a ring by February, I said, okay. So New Year's Eve, I packed my shit and left. <laughs> sounds later. like Jay. <laughs> wow. It's the most gangster move Brad ever <laughs> I want to steal reserve. Wow. <laughs> One more wow, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that, blubber boy bully? Good night. Hi, Christine.